You're listening to the Pine Room Podcast, the home of sports, gambling, entertainment, and whatever the hell else has gone on this week. So pull up a seat by the fire, crack open a cold one, and make sure to get your bets in. Welcome to the Pine Room. All right, everybody. Hello and welcome back to episode nine of the Pine Room Podcast. We are here back in the studio. We had a great weekend. Friday was awesome. We went down to uh, Generations. If you don't know, uh, that'll be coming out tomorrow. You'll see that. Uh, you'll see some highlights from that. You, know, you won't see the whole podcast, but you'll see some highlights tomorrow. Uh, and then you'll obviously see the, see this on Thursday. We had a good time. We had a, uh, a, a, a great couple of events. A lot of people were there. So if you were there, if you came directly for us or, or specifically to come see us the for the show. We thank you for coming down. Uh, we had a fun time. It was a blast and we got to give some stuff away. We got some, uh, we got a good in- interview with, uh, killer Cal killed Al. Uh, we wish him the best of luck on Friday. That was awesome. It was a great interview. He was, he's a great kid. Um, and, and hopefully he does well on Friday and, and we might go over and give him some support, uh, later that evening. I, I think, uh, I got big money on him, but, uh, we'll, we'll see as far as that goes. Uh, real quick, we have, um, on the 20th, we have, of course, the big event. Uh, you might have seen uh, some billboards out there on the electronic billboards. There's the one that is by Little Caesars, and then I think the one is the is Little, it just the one? On National yeah. Road. Yeah, just the one on National, National Little Caesars on National Road. Yeah. Little Caesars on National Road. Uh, you can see our billboard um, out there promoting the event on the 20th, so that's kind of cool. Um, Not and then, kind of cool, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. But we're, yeah, that that's out there. So look out for that. And then, of course, on social media, just in case there would happen to be any changes. I think there are a lot of people coming on on the twentieth. So if you're interested in coming, and if you've heard about it, mark it on your calendars. Come on, it's a Friday. You know, you'll be done from work, done end of the week. It'll be a good way to start your week, and uh, you have some fun. And we'll do some some giveaways and whatnot. We got an uh, interview with Travis the Terror Clark, uh, who is actually training. Uh, killer cow killed Al. Uh, so that's that's cool, and uh, a couple other of the fighters that uh, he'll probably talk about coming uh, the twentieth. But we are uh, looking forward to that. Other than that, um, we may have a little something in the works tomorrow uh, that'll go out a, a little later, maybe uh, in the weekend or next week. So, ke- of course, keep uh, on the lookout for social media stuff. We're at the Pine Room Podcast on Twitter, and uh, or, uh, we're actually at Pine Room Podcast on Twitter, and then at the Pine Room Podcast on Instagram and Facebook. Follow us on YouTube. Subscribe on YouTube. We'll put the videos out for all this stuff. That's where the highlights from Generations are going to go, and then we got some other other stuff in, in the works and other different social medias, uh, TikTok, so look forward to that. But other than that, yeah, we had a great weekend. What did you guys think of the weekend? Send a shout-out to our beer-chugging first-ever, uh, first annual, hopefully, uh, beer-chugging champion, Connor Ferguson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout-out uh, to Did Ferg. a great job. He was uh, he, he, he had a battle in, in, the, in the finals. Tough, tough, uh, yeah, tough, tough. Audrey. Very much so. Yeah. And an excellent but, bartender. Thank yeah, you very, very much. Very much so. Right. Phenomenal. Audrey. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, she was great, but uh, Connor came away with the uh, beer chugging championship. We had a lot of trivia, trivia winners too, and we passed out some some nice little uh, takeaways, keychains, and uh, beer koozies and bottle, bottle openers. openers. So, yeah. uh, and we're going to be doing that on sa- on Friday also. So make sure you come down to take yeah. uh, take some really cool stuff home. And man, we'll be giving out some t shirts again. And I'm sure uh, River City is going to be doing some stuff also so shout out to connor ferguson and also uh luke to and matt out at uh generations for all they did for us uh, yeah making it a special it. night Absolutely. for us yes. luke we appreciate all you do you're doing a great job out there hopefully we uh we're trying to work something out with them where we might be out there maybe once a month and uh have some fun with them yeah it's definitely not going to be our last time that we're out no there. i don't think not. so i don't, That's I don't think so Jump, yeah. how were you feeling that night, just out of curiosity? <laughs> was anybody else nervous? I know Jump was sweating a little bit. I didn't know if that was just the lights directly going on him or whatever the I case was might be. Sh- the shirt you had. Yeah, my long sleeve. No, I, I, I was... I was nervous the whole day just because it, it's. I always tell people it's it's a lot easier to talk into a microphone than it is to a crowd of people. And there were a good there were a good amount of people there. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't you know it wasn't fifteen people. So you know I, I went out there and and <laughs> we're getting closer to game time and I hit record and then I couldn't talk. 
I could not talk. I could not get the the words out. And then I kept wanting to do sound checks just to to make sure that everything was good. Yeah, he to go. kept saying, "He kept saying, you guys good? Your mic's good? <laughs> we were all good. <laughs> yeah, we were. We were you fine. took like nine deep breaths. I couldn't do anybody it. Gotta go to the bathroom. He kept anybody away. Gotta, anybody got, anybody <laughs> need a drink? In all honesty, though, Job, once you got going, you were oh, awesome. You were yeah. well, I couldn't I tell probably. you were even. Nervous at all? No, I, mean, I agree with in, that. Actually, and honestly, once, once you got going out of the gate, it probably settled all the rest of us down. The too. only thing yeah. I did here is I heard like a gasp of air. Then all of a sudden, I think that might have been your asshole inside <laughs> out right before <laughs> the show. Like, I think the only thing that I could tell you was nervous was the uh, beads of sweat <laughs> oh, coming down yeah. his nose. The bright lights. It was the bright lights. After after I opened up, I, the floodgates opened. I mean, it wasn't, I was it wasn't a minute in. He was. Sweating I was wiping. Like he just ran, ran a mile. I was wiping off my nose. My eyes were burning. But yeah, it was fun. I had a good time. Once you get into it, I had I kind of had a technique going into it. I was looking down at the middle of the table. I didn't want to look up <laughs> at the crowd. But honestly, once we got going and you know, uh, every we started talking, it was like we were just sitting right here. I'd agree. And I think we all so, got comfortable with it after a yeah. while. Yeah, you, Chris, I meant to yeah. tell you that you were you, you just were like you're having a conversation relaxed. right you here. You know what though, too, like like you said, like I, I'm on the end, so I'm kind of looking at you guys. Yeah. So I'm not out there looking at the crowd. So <laughs> that might have made it uh, a little bit easier. Well, and I, I think the the two hundred. Forty dollar bar bill might have helped us relax. Well, yeah. Also, <laughs> was anybody? Yeah. But honestly, was anybody else nervous? Did you? Guys, I, I mean, I, 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 with all due respect yes. to Job, let's be honest. I mean, he has to be the guy that kind of leads us and bridges <laughs> yeah. us. He's our so he had a right. But I, but everybody else was everybody else a little tight or was everybody good to go? Uh, I felt all right. Yeah, I'd not, not I, bad. I wasn't. I think bad. it's different when you either. have a group. I think yeah. when you have oh, yeah. a group, yeah. again, they, not everybody's eyes are on you yeah. in particular, so that mm-hmm. helps a little Plus bit. Plus, they've got this awesome set they can look at, too. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah right? Yeah. It wasn't our ugly mugs. Off of yeah, yeah, legit. Like, like hey, li- live in uh, direct with a bobblehead is what we look like. <laughs> <laughs> and and rather uh, look at Moondog or George well, Kellis. And we had some some audio issues, which hopefully next time that we uh, we go down there, I know we're going to fix, and that'll be ironed out. So, sorry if you had a little bit of trouble hearing us. Uh, I think we we'll definitely won't have that issue uh, this upcoming tour. 20th because now I got a feel for how things are supposed to be and it was our first time so I think we did pretty well overall I thought I thought the day went great yeah it was fun I it was great. really I great, one, great time one of the takeaways I had from that is <laughs> I'm sure as hell glad I don't chug beer no oh. I mean after that kid won what what did, what did he have how, were those 16 ounces I think they were 16 yeah. Okay, yeah. So he chugged big. too and he, he, he you know he barely won but then shortly after that he was sitting in that yeah, chair he, off he the wasn't stage good for about he, a half hour he had his head down like he was really struggling and you know he's a young kid oh. you know <laughs> Like, that other poor, poor girl that was in the semifinal, she <laughs> struggled after she started too. Well, what was her name? The other she uh, spilled Abby? more on yeah, her. Yeah, no, Abby, Abby struggled. Abby, yeah, she she Abby spilled struggled. more on her yeah, than yeah, she, yeah. she swallowed. Yeah. So is anybody good at it? It was like even uh, you're. I don't even want to say young, young, but like I guess the four of us were. Any of I, you guys I, ever good at that back in the I day? I always thought that the key to that stuff was taking like big gulps. Like yeah. you don't want to gulp fat like fast rapidly. I think long big gulps. Mm-hmm. That's uh, for me. listen. I got to tell you. I got to tell you a little story about a guy that was a year and some of you guys have known that know the guy and have heard these stories there was a guy ahead of me in in high school by a couple of years by the name of larry larry crook <laughs> oh jesus he uh, and, and this is no lie because i've witnessed i i witnessed uh what what some of the things he did he would literally well he'd, he would bet people that he could do it because people didn't believe it he would take a Small pitcher of beer, <laughs> not a not a mug, not a bottle, not a can. A small pitcher of beer, cold beer. Now remember, cold. That's hard Ooh, enough. That's hard. Well, that was, I think, one of the issues of that. That that was straight out of the tap. That was Bush out. Chug of the a, chug a a an entire pitcher of beer and not spill a drop. <laughs> and then he would he would pick a can up by his teeth, bite it open, suck it out, and crush the can. And and lay it back down. I I literally witnessed it. He, he I wish there were some other guys that, that saw it because it was when you talked to you asked about chugging. It was would he crush it from the top or the side? He he would bite the side, <laughs> bite like the a side. corn cob. Yeah, bite yeah. the side and then just pick it up like this. That reenactment though, right there. <laughs> hey, hey, Mark, what was he doing? <laughs> I, I none of these cans are empty. Or I would have. But it was it was amazing. But that that was uh, that was a chugging um, 
phenomenon. Jeff, you it, said you did a little chugging, huh? I, well, I wasn't really. I didn't love it because exactly what happened to that kid, <laughs> like that's usually the end result. So mm. to me, that isn't any fun. I mean, I mean there if are you people, put me on the spot, I'm not going to turn down a challenge back in the day. There are Nowadays, people that I, love it. Uh, you said I never, I didn't love it. I didn't I, love it. I didn't well, love it. Do you it. think there are people that love it? hundred percent. Really? Oh, I, without I, a doubt. I, Especially I, to, like today's uh, uh, age group. I definitely, like they, they do um, shotgun. Like, shotgun. Oh, yeah. 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 I, shotgun. I think. Those are all right. You're good at that. You like shotgun? I'm not bad. Yeah, yeah he's I'm pretty, pretty good. good. Oh, I've never I seen never that. Know that. Oh, I didn't see know that. that either. Oh, that's going to have to be a Saturday challenge. But I agree, though. The cold, the cold can. The cold yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I still don't understand. I just don't. I don't know what it is. I don't understand these drinking games that we were at. Uh, we were at. Job, Aunt I just, Kim's. I, no. It, um, where were we? Uh, oh, at uh, the, the, um, our friend, Bay Singer's um, and Connor Michael's graduation party. In, in the back room of the vets, and and you can guarantee that if you see a white table and cups on it or something, that there's, and they were playing this this other game you guys have probably heard of where they they try to knock the can off, and if they knock it off, then the guy has to run and get it and put it on the table. The other was guy, it, what were they knocking it off idea. with? A ping pong ball. Mm, so I, they, it, Never I feel and like I, that's modified familiar. beer pong. Right? I, yeah. I don't know. And there's no money involved. There's really not a. Anything? Well, there's you know, there's one. You know, you know what you get out of it? Yeah. Getting fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's <laughs> the one <laughs> goal. That's, that's exactly. the goal. Well, why wouldn't you just sit and just? Uh, I don't know. What, what about, about, what about you know, funneling? Young... Are you guys any good? Were you guys good at funneling? I've beer? never done no, it. Before. I've never done that either. Have no, you ever I've done never... a keg stand? Oh hell yes. We used to. What's that? Upside down. Hundred percent. Really? Hundred percent. We used to do that all the time. We used to tap keg. No. We used to tap kegs on Saturday, and not that I'm proud of this. but Yeah. We. Yeah. Uh huh. What? Now this was in 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 the college days. High school. That's the part that I was going to say that we weren't proud. Of. <laughs> well, hey, but well, 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 we used to literally tap kegs. This is no exaggeration. Well, we used to tap kegs before central football games. Was it drinking age eighteen? Uh, no, hell no. Um, I used to go. This. Is, uh, do you guys remember uh, uh, Captain Ed's down in Forty uh, Third Street? Yeah, it was no, a floating. It was a yeah. no, no exaggeration. Still in my central uniform. This was before basketball games. Wasn't an athlete. I like to drink. So the fact of the matter of we, what, what uniform? Uh, your, your school Wheeling uniform. Central. Wheeling your tie. This is no joke. I swear to God on my mom and dad's grave. <laughs> we before basketball games. I would work at the um, before the parking lot down at the Civic Center. Before they had that, I'd work there, and then I would go meet some people down at Captain Ed's, have drinks in my uniform, and then get changed and go to the basketball game. No exaggeration. <laughs> what a great time That's to be awesome. alive, huh? Right? Jeez. I don't yeah, think I'd you. fly today. No, hell no. Yeah. wouldn't fly with the CC. No, it would be on <laughs> social media immediately. Oh, yeah. He'd be in trouble instantly. I, I it could, would ruin everything. I could tell some bad stories well, about me, high school drinking. Too. Bad. I mean... But very, well, very oh, actually, you know what? Today, did you see the one out of Connecticut over the weekend? Uh, mm-hmm. There was a, a very prominent area in Connecticut. There was a big house party out in the thing, and one of the star of the cross kids got stabbed and I think killed in yeah. the driveway. Oh, and it was all over. Well, I guess it, yeah, hopefully, no up in that underage that drinking area up there in uh, <laughs> Massachusetts, <laughs> right. Massachusetts. Yeah. New England, right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, all of New England. Yeah, I got that map Just wrong. Drinkers. I got that map wrong. Well, but was you it all, twelve. To, we had a, it was <laughs> twelve to eighteen or twelve to seventeen. Back in the day, West Liberty when it was West Liberty State college and i was there we had a pub right on campus it was down where it, subway yeah. was right well, yeah right uh-huh. down where Subway. Well, yeah, bowling, bowl, there yeah, was a bowling, bowling alley, alley. And, a, and a pub so you could get hammered because the drinking age was 18 so everybody on campus was legal so you could you could get hammered That's and amazing. walk back to your dorm it was it was incredible so do you guys think the drinking age should be 18 or should yes. be 20 yes yes yeah. 18 18 yeah, 18. yeah. yeah I think 18 because so. yeah. i think now i mean kids are drinking anyway at 18 exactly. i think that i mean it just it just I don't know. I feel like you would you would get you have kids getting in less trouble. I mean, not just because they're drinking. I think they're going out of their way to do it, like you know, to an extreme. So I think maybe if you if you lower that age, then it doesn't come. Then it doesn't become such a a crazy thing to do. And usually, usually if someone's an asshole when they drink, they're going to be an asshole when they drink for their entire yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A good I mean, you grow. I mean, we all were idiots, kind of a, a little bit back when we were younger. But you, you I can think of a few it. Yeah. right off the top of my head. <laughs> right, and, and it doesn't matter if they're seventy years old; they're still going to be idiots. So. Actually, Jebber, I think that's a good point. I think that um, if we make it out to be a big deal, then it becomes a big deal. Exactly. Kids. Yeah. If you don't make it a big deal, I mean, great examples. Look at the European countries. I mean, those kids are allowed to have a glass of wine yeah. at twelve, thirteen. Oh, yeah. So at the end of the day, it's not a big deal to them when hey. they leave the parents' nest leg and they go out. It's not like, oh, let's go get hammered and so we die. Yeah. Right. There yeah. was somebody. Yeah. There was some kid that, that I think I was in class with at West Liberty who ha- who was eighteen uh, or who was like twenty and over in I think Germany. I think he was in one of my math classes and he was twenty 
and he came over here and he had been drinking for two years and when he came here he can't he couldn't drink so he was just like talking about how over there it's way more relaxed it's not that big of a deal when you turn 18 and you start drinking it's not that big of a deal it was always fun to get away with it too you know make (laughs) make it 18 then it's not as much of a i mean that's a good point though i mean i guess if you're 17 trying to drink and there are there are kids that will probably wait till they're 18 there's a few of them out there still there is and they'll they'll you know, be responsible for you and I. Yes. Yeah. But you know, it, it, again, it, it, there's, well, there's other worse things, but there's nothing worse as a drinker than a guy that always wants to, just wants to fight, cause problems, <laughs> the worst. be a dick. And, you know, that's one thing about the pine room. All, all the guys that come here were, were, you know, pretty much fun, fun drunks. Mm-hmm. In fact, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's amazing that people can fun change drunk. when, oh, when yeah. you're drunk, like Isn't that you can amazing? completely like, well, What's that? What was that movie? Uh, Jekyll and Hyde? No. The guy- <laughs> <laughs> it's like me, myself, wow. and I. Oh, the, that- the, the split Jekyll personality. What is it just called? Split? What did one of those guys drink? Yeah, yeah, Jekyll and Hyde. Like- Jekyll, Dr. Jekyll was, was, yeah, was, 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 he, yeah. was he a drinker? Then- no, but I'm saying he's referencing. No, he's referencing. I was just. I thought he's referencing the split personality. The split personality. Oh, but you're two different people. When Doctor Jekyll got drunk, he turned into. <laughs> when, he a, what, when he had a stands. When he had after a stand. Yeah, when, well when he had four glasses of like doers, he turned into <laughs> high. Doers, wow. um, hey, you guys are right though. Europe is a whole different world. They, you know, they drink. On a business day, they they drink during lunch hour. That's like common there. Yeah, I mean, it's right. A whole different world in. Uh, I told Chris this before, but talking to some of these girls, and you guys know uh, international girls from West Liberty and stuff. Well, some of the Russian girls would tell me their their parents would pour them vodka, like like milk at dinner when they were very young, <laughs> like little glasses of vodka, and they had to finish it before they got up from the table. Wonder what like what's a, what was the purpose of that? Wonder. Just Russian heritage, heritage tradition. Just, yeah, heritage. it was, it was actually Vladimir Doyle. It was for good. <laughs> it was for good luck. They said that it kind of supposed to bring you health and prosperity. Really? So, yeah. Huh. Clear up your sinuses. Yeah, yeah well, it's interesting. Well, I mean, you always make the argument. You always say, "Why does anybody drink to just get drunk?" But I, isn't that the whole point? Well, nah. I I don't go to to watch a game with the sole purpose of getting okay. drunk. Okay, well, you, you know, don't that's now. That's you be don't. The end you don't now. <laughs> but you used to bring. Yeah, um, it was Sunday. Uh, yeah. yeah, but you don't. You might not now. But why? What's the point of getting? Why, why do they sell beer at a game? I don't know. I guess it's just a, a, how dr- how quickly they want to get drunk. I they guess want to make money. That's why they sell beer. At a game. Well, I guess it's just guys just to play that Edward Forty hands. You you've yeah, done that. That that. that, that, that it's the, it's I, day, honestly. It does well, really. that's different. That's not something that everybody's going to do. That's like an event that happens once a year. That's oh, like, that's a big event. That's it. Edward Forty that's, Hands. For anybody that's that the king of drink. Ounces, that's a king I, of I drunkenness. Does anyone? I don't for know. Anyone that so how know what Forty Hands is is. You know, you get two forties of forty ounce beers, and you duct tape them Something to your hands. Cheap, I'm sure. Yeah, but it's usually, cold, cold I, think it's, I think the only what? ones you can find. What is it? Milwaukee's best, and I think yeah. uh, and you, still got maybe best. a Bud Light. And you duct tape them to you your duct hands. Duct tape them to your hands, and then whoever we, we we might have that here. Chris, they still have uh, no. We in can't. Those 40s? Well, who's well, good? We can't. Savion, say right? good. I, good. I know. I I I'll be honest. I can drink. I can drink. Fast, I, oh, well, I can drink fast, but I, I don't think I could. Drink <laughs> I wouldn't want to, but I could two forties worth because then well, it ru- we can't do it at the beginning of the day. Well, the catch with the forty hands is that well, whoever finishes it first, but you have to. I don't know the time. Can't throw. Exactly, <laughs> you can't. You know, you can't throw up. I think it's maybe ten minutes <laughs> oh, after, boy. and then that's like, officially like, you're like the how winner. much time do you get? Is there to a do throw it? up? Referee? However, long, however oh. long, whoever finishes it first oh, and doesn't pit. throw up. So it's a one on one challenge always, or or no? We could be a whole group. Yeah, is what we do. Tag team. Um who, yeah. who was the best ever? Groups? Ooh, the be- yeah, Groups is pretty good. I don't remember who. <laughs> I'd have put we had a up huge against. upset last this Ooh. year. It was a big. I, I who, can't was a, who was it? Brecken? Well, I don't know if I could say the name. Yeah, he keep the name out of it. Yeah, you got to keep the name out of it. Because I don't think he even was It's a play. Age, I mean, off Edward Forty Hands, that's a play on. <laughs> it was one of your coaches, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's why I didn't want to say it. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the guys that coaches yeah, football or something. Yeah, they probably have to drink forty hands to catch that team. <laughs> you remember the wheel? You, you you remember the, the Watch fir- the wheel. You, you remember the first time you ever drank? No, Chris mm-hmm. does. Yeah, Chris I is do. shaking his vaguely, head. Yeah. vaguely. Was, where was, where were uh, you? I think it was. Uh, in '79, uh, down, down, year. down at uh, uh, <clears throat> Charleston when uh, football team was in the state championship. 
me and me and Worm were down there, and uh, we played Buffalo Wayne. And I remember Eddie Littlehales. Uh, he left us some. We were at some shit hotel, and he left a bunch of beer for us in the stairwell. Was it the Daniel Boone hotel? <laughs> it may have been. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it was. It might have been. But that's the very first time. And it might have been. Uh, they were cans of beer, but that's the. F- I, I, Did you throw up? No, no. Were you of well, age? No, I mean, you were we didn't. Fourteen. No. 14 then, right? If it was 77? Was it 79? Was it, I guess. Oh, 79. 16? No, I, oh, but no, I didn't. But I mean, we didn't. There wasn't a whole lot of it, but that was probably the first time I had beer. So I definitely <laughs> I guess remember. I must have liked it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely remember the first time I threw up. By the way, for sure. by, yeah. by, by the way, we're not promoting underage drinking in no, the slightest. No, we're no. just making light of Never. our. How times used to be. Stay exactly. out of the Tito's. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, Back to the weekend, Job. I want to send a shout out, and I'm sure you guys do, to uh, Michael Grove. Um, unbelievable effort. Uh, that was like so exciting on Sunday to see him take the mound. That was that was one of the coolest things, honestly, in my opinion, personally, that I I think I've ever seen. Just seeing a kid that that, that you know personally. With that name on his back of that Dodger uniform, and I'm, I just remember him step, did you, stepping over that foul line. He must have that, like, uh, he, like skipped, over? Get, he skipped over the foul line like he, like a kid, you know, just like a kid. He looks like he was so excited and went out and just one, two, three, first inning, got his first strikeout, and then uh, had a tough play behind him in the in the second inning that would have got him out uh Got him out of the inning, and maybe he would have extended into the fifth inning because his pitch count, obviously, after that, went up another 20 pitches or so. But, God, he, that was so exciting, and uh, we were so happy. We were cheering and yelling. So, Michael, yeah, that was really yeah, cool. A- Michael and his family yeah. and, and everybody, uh, that was after that, that first, great job. After Mike, that yeah. first inning, I thought, I thought you know, if, well, I mean, then again, if that, guy, if that guy doesn't make an error, I, I, they don't score. I don't no, they been don't been score. It would have been nothing. Well, well, it would have been one nothing because yeah, Mookie, Mookie, Mookie hit a home run. Yeah, one nothing. One Dodgers, nothing. Yeah. And they, he made it through three and two thirds, so he probably would have gotten through five and had a good chance to. Get a win, but at least he didn't get the loss. Yeah, yeah he didn't get the loss. And no earned yeah, runs. So yeah, luxury. Is ERA zero, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Four runs. Yeah, three, he three like K's. He, be, he looked like he belonged. I mean, yes, that was I agree really with that. He definitely did. looked like yeah. he belonged. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be interested to see how that plays out the rest of the year. Um, you know, hopefully we'll get him on sometime and talk to him about how he thinks that's going to play out. Whether he's he's going to be you know in the rotation down the road or whether it's going to be. You know, because I think it was a four day contract uh, that that he came yeah. up on, and uh, y- you just wonder how how that plays out. Where the Dodgers are? Is it is it based on injury? Is it based on you know who does well or whatever? How he continues to do down there? Or have they seen enough to know when they need him, he's ready? Because I think he's, I think they got a a pretty good uh, yeah. performance out of him the first time. I mean, geez. That's I, him is making me nervous watching. I know he, I was nervous. Like, <laughs> cool as can be. I like, geez. So the he, question, he wasn't even sweating as much as Job on, <laughs> uh, on Friday night. The question that took place in my household: Would you rather be part of the Dodgers organization, which is what considered maybe the best organization in baseball right now, or would you rather be part of a you no know, lower tier Pirates and no. you're out there you're out there pitching more than what you would be right <laughs> well, that's now? That's a good. That's a great that question. That's a great question. question. But I, that's a really good question. So, uh, so you're saying being part of the Pirates where you at? Where I guess you my stink. question: You guys know the baseball world way more than I do. Uh, would I, would, no, would, would keep, he be keep me start in a starting rotation with other teams? Oh, right I now? think 100. Uh, yeah. The Pirates probably wouldn't want to pay him. So right. They, they, <laughs> right. That might they keep him down until later <laughs> in the year when they have to pay him. Right. So that's that's my point. Would you rather be, I guess, in the lineup every five days, or would you rather be with the organization that? Knows hey, to play I, their I'd players. I'd say he would have a spot in a lot of rotations who, with teams who were I trying agree. to win. Jerry, you watch a ton I of baseball. I was say this. Uh, if he does get some more opportunities this uh, year with the Dodgers, he's probably going to get run support. So if he was with the Pirates, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Started, Case Clark in point said, on Sunday, he got off the hook. Had three, the Pirates have had three hits in the last two games. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, they've I, looked, they've stay, looked really I'll good. I think I'd stick with L.A. <laughs> for yeah. many I, reasons. I agree. Weather, women. Yes. Franchise D, yes. all the above. Yeah. Look yeah. at the lineup you got. Yes. And their uniforms are unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, I don't have to mention who, who, said, who argued? You like you say they're the best, right? They're oh, clean. Yeah, they are. See, they I like the Cardinals. Clean. I like the Cardinals that whites. Red number, Chris. The red, the red number. Well, that, that's sharp. cool. The Cardinals uniforms, the whites with the with Cardinals the bat, are, the bat, and the two yeah, Cardinals. Cardinals might be might be the best. Yeah. Yeah. Too, they haven't changed that at all. Do you guys like the uh, the powder blues that everybody's bringing back? 
Too many got too I, many teams have them. I, 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 I do. I like, I the like them, but I I, I think like now they're so getting many overused. Teams, what is it? Phillies, well, Blue Jays, uh, Phillies, twins. Blue Jays, Cardinals, Twins, but Twins. Been, but they had those in the eighties. Same with like uh, the Twins. I mean, yeah. they, they, a lot of those teams had. Uh, I, I, there's at least four sharp. teams. There are some good uniforms. Oh, the Ro- in baseball Royals? Did right we say now. the Royals? Yeah, the Royals. Royals. Yeah, Royals. Royals had them, yeah. I think there's five teams. Do you guys like the City Connect uh, jerseys too? Like that they've been coming out with? No, Mm-mm. they're all right. No. Tradition. Some they are keep okay. traditional. I think it's. I think they're fun. Like yeah. I think the White Sox yeah. with the black and white pinstripes. I think are sharp. Speaking of, speaking of uniforms, I, I'm going to throw this out to you guys. I saw I saw a poll on on uh, Sports Illustrated. I think it was 25 best uniforms, college football uniforms. In in all of college football, who who? What do you think? Number one, no, they, you, USC. Bet, no, they they were in a top. Say? They were in a top five. USC. They I were in a top five. What's they're, the, they're what's white, the question? What, what the, the, be, the, the best looking uniform in in all of college football? Best looking. I'm going to say either Penn State or Notre Dame. Penn State. I think Penn State. I was going to guess Penn State as Penn State. a joke. Oh, wow. Penn State. I was going to say I, Alabama. Nah, they were they were they were in the top ten. Penn right? State was really number one. Yes. Oh, yeah. I was going to say Penn State as a joke. I didn't. No, I thought Penn they were State, the most plain Penn and boring State's, things. And I've I ever think seen. that's why. Because now I like the tradition. Uh, of it. You were three. You're still were good though with the helmets. two was Michigan. Yeah, I like Michigan. Two was Michigan. Michigan's whites are. Pretty I tell you what, stand them, but I your Hurricanes were up in the top. Fifteen white tops, orange pants. That's pretty good. Look. Yeah, that's sharp. What yeah. is that based on? Are guys, like survey or yeah, or yeah, survey of like um, sports writers or okay. something like yeah. that. Do you guys yeah. like yeah. WVU's uniforms with all the different combos that they've no, been doing no, the past no. few years? And they, I'll tell you, they another had one. a great uniform. They had too. Oregon's yeah, up there. Yeah, I think Oregon's uniforms stink. Well, which yeah. which, co- which uh, uniform is Oregon? You can't determine. There's no. Nah, they don't have one every game. How many times when you turn up? Or a football game on but, it, you don't know who's playing. Uh, that's the other thing. I was just going to say that. They that's take the it. school colors out there. either black or silver or yeah. gray. And you don't have no that any was, What of the was the game? We were, I think it was color. Iowa State, I think, last year. Oh, yeah. When they had... Well, <laughs> totally they different had, like, fun of them. Totally yeah. different Close colors. To, like, yeah. Then they had like black and like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, what uh, totally different. But was, Jeff, like, I, think, and white. I, think it, I think a lot of it, too, was based on on tradition and not changing. It's like Michigan never – Michigan Isn't rarely changes. Nope. Notre Dame only wears – they wear the Shamrock. Shamrock uh, series. Uh, I think, yeah, one time in it. But Penn State, uh, well, they did have the numbers on the side of their helmet. One game – I don't know if it was last year or two years ago. But other than that, you know, they never they never change. It's just traditional. I like that part about it. Yeah, I, I, do, I do too. I do too. Jeff, but you it, guys got to tone your helmets down, though. Too much? Oh. What, the gold? That's, I, li- the gold? I was just going to say, I think that's one of my favorites. I, I love the gold helmets. Because it's too shiny? I mean, oh. I love it. I like the Selfish the, the reasons. Gold. Oh. Well, here's the deal. You liked it before they actually put the gold car- uh, the carrots in Back there. Back when I did Because there's actually, there actually chips of, uh, what is it, uh, car- uh, carrot like, gold. Uh, uh, shaved uh, gold? Like gold shaving? Like gold leaf? But before that, They shave it into the paint, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, Look at yes. Chris is looking at me like, I fucking, I fucking hate the Irish. You God, like, it, you like the one that Rudy was wearing. He likes that color. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Simple. And you know one that's, that was up there, and I, 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 it's not because I don't like him. It, Ohio State was up there with all those things on their helmets. See, I don't the like that. I was gonna, what do they get Buc-Eyes? those for every time yes, they do the, something good? Yeah, yeah, some. they probably have a list of stuff. It's like SpongeBob. See, hey, I'm going to make stick. myself. Yeah. <laughs> What? I, I think they're yeah. uni- I hate God. I'm, this is going to make me want to fucking throw up. But I do like their color combos. I agree. I do. It makes me want to fucking weight. puke that I'm saying <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, talk about a know. puke bucket. Oh, my very God. Sharp, well, very well, sharp. That's scar- what, scarlet, scarlet and gray. gray it's and, sharp. Yeah. and all their gear to me is very sharp, my opinion. It is. Wouldn't fucking wear it, but hey, good for you. And guys. they said Michigan, don't ever say they're blue and gold. What, Maze. 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 M-A-I-Z-E. And, 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 M-A-Z-E. M-A-I-Z-E, yes. Okay. And West Virginia is like not cool. Blue, they're old gold. Yeah. West, old gold. Oh, Mountaineers right. are old gold. Yeah, old you can you can catch gear. people. That you know what? Yeah, that's good. Go. That's good trivia questions. Trivia for What's Friday. That? That's good trivia old questions. Gold. Trivia for Friday. What, yeah, exactly. what color is West Virginia colors? Yeah. It's not gold and blue. Champion yell, gold and blue. <laughs> <laughs> actually, he might get that one. Actually, yeah. he's, he's well, he got short. he got uh, what did he get the one on uh, Friday? He got it right. He said it right. Oh, Dominica. The purple and the flag. I can't believe it. And I pronounced it wrong, and he he said it right. He oh, came right. Wait a second. Dominique. What it's are we talking actually, about? The country is yeah, actually Dominique. Dominique. It was a Dominica. trivia question, yeah. Jeff. It was a, the purple and, and like the flag. Three <laughs> people. It was down to 
That's right. The that last was, one. Were you, were you there Friday? Jeff? I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> you know what was amazing a little about bit. that is when George came to answer the question, he ran right by Soup. <laughs> and Soup was out there. <laughs> he ran up to the desk. He ran right to the desk. He, he, right to the he looked right at Matt. His yeah. hands were flying up in the air. Like a guy on Come On Down. Oh, Christ is right. Let's make a deal. Yeah, right. All right. We're going to take a break here, and then we're going to be back with – Technically, our our first uh, pine room, our first official set guest. Even he's not going to be here. We're gonna he's going to be on call. Uh, Jerry Thomas, uh, who is the co promoter for the Rough and Rowdy, uh, we'll be back here in a little bit with a call from him, and uh, you'll get to hear a little bit about what what's going on this upcoming uh, end of the week, this upcoming Friday. So we will be back here in a second. All right, and uh, welcome back. We are here uh, with Jerry Thomas on the phone. He is the co-promoter, like I said, for the bar for Barstool's Rough and Rowdy. Uh, he is with uh, West Virginia Sports Promotions, and uh, we are welcome to have him on the show. Can you hear us, Jerry? Yes, sir. Sure can. How right. you doing? Good, great. Welcome to the show. You're actually our first official guest here on the uh, actual home studio podcast. So welcome. That's great. Well, well thank you very much. I well, appreciate welcome, you. Welcome, Jerry. Thank you. Yes. Jerry. Good evening, Jerry. Yeah, hey, this is coming. Jeff. Hi, hey, Jeff. Yeah, hey, welcome again. We do appreciate you taking your time out of your crazy uh, schedule. You're to, welcome. Uh, definitely appreciate You're it. You're welcome. And actually, just sure, want to give a shout out to you guys to, having me. Well, of Go course. Ahead. I just want to give a shout out to Rocky Fitzsimmons uh, for connecting mm-hmm. us. Uh, I've known Rocky for a really long time, and uh, he was a- able to bridge us, so we definitely appreciate him as well. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, Rocky's a great guy and, and a longtime friend. Yeah, no, that's awesome. understandable. No, that's good stuff. So just to get, to get right into it, Jerry, uh, just out of curiosity, how many years have you been promoting? Uh, 40, I don't know, 42, 43, yeah. give or take. <laughs> oh, wow. Like that. Wow, wow, wow. I, that's I, lost, I, I think I lost count at 40. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> How did you get into something like this? Uh, actually, it was pretty much an accident. I, I have a younger brother <clears throat> who decided he wanted a box. And uh, he, he mentioned that to me. And, and uh, I tried to talk him out of it because I was concerned that he, you know, he might get hurt. And he was a good athlete, played football and wrestled and uh Played baseball, you know, he did everything pretty much, but he uh, uh, he wouldn't listen to my advice, and uh, he proceeded to uh, start boxing anyway. And so after a while, you know, basically I, I couldn't get him to to stop, so I had to help him <laughs> some way or and the other. One huh? Thing, one thing led to another, and you know, I started out just helping with some publicity stuff, you know, and. Helped him in the gym a little bit, and then the next thing you know, uh, you know, I ended up promoting an event for him uh, and some of his friends. And you know, this was amateur boxing, and and then it progressed. Uh, he did well and went on to turn pro. And I promoted, you know, started promoting his pro fights and some other guys that we knew in the area. And then the Tough Man contest came along and actually started in, in Michigan in 1979. And made its way to West Virginia in 1980 and uh, I was promoting amateur and pro fights at the time and uh, the guys who started it contacted me and, and uh, asked me if I would partner up with them and co-promote some events and so I did and uh, then later we changed our deal to a franchise type deal uh, where I have the promotional rights for that event and have had all those years uh, for West Virginia and, uh, you know, I continued to, to promote, uh, you know, pro boxing and did some Golden Glove events. Um, you know, over the years, we promoted, I think, just about everything you could think of. I did some pro basketball and uh, did pro wrestling uh, one time or a couple of times. And, uh, you know, it's been an interesting run, of course. And <laughs> at one time, we actually did a roller derby event in Wheeling <laughs> 20 years ago. And, wow. Uh, so we've, you know, we've had a lot of fun with this and it's been a good business and, you know, we've met a lot of interesting people over the years and a lot of friends, uh, in, you know, all over the, the state and surrounding states. Uh, so basically that's the, the, the general story or the overview. Uh, so what actually was, was an accident pretty much, uh, turned into a, a business and a second career. That's wow. awesome. That is totally awesome. It sounds like a phenomenal career as that, too. Had you ever get in the ring with your brother as a sparring partner? 
I did actually. I, I did. Uh, yeah. And, uh, I'll tell you the qu- quick story. This was way back. He, <clears throat> he had recorded about 55, I think, amateur fights and did real well, won the golden gloves a few times, uh, and then went to the nationals and was ranked fifth in the nation as, as a heavyweight. Oh, wow. Uh, by the a- a- AAU at the time. And he was training to turn pro and, I was helping him in the gym, and and uh, one day he was training, and uh, you know he kind of was looking at me, kind of funny, I thought, and I, I said, "Why are you staring? Why are you staring at me like that?" And uh, <clears throat> he said, "Well, I'm just kind of sizing you up, you know. What do you weigh, brother?" And uh, I think at the time I was about 210 or 15 pounds, and he said. Uh, he said, you know, he said, I, I really don't have any bigger guys to spar with. All these guys in the gym are, are smaller. And, and he was right. I mean, the largest guy in the gym was a middleweight, about 160. And he was, a, you know, he was a 210 or 15 pound heavyweight. Uh, so he convinced me to hit the bag and, and do some, some cardio for a couple of weeks. And then I got in the ring and sparred with him. You know? wow. and, how'd that, uh, how'd that go? It did not end well. <laughs> we were kidding you. around. And we were actually started out. We were joking around, and you know, and he would he would pop me with a jab and tell me he's going to hit me with a left hook, and you know, dared me to block it, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and I had a tough time actually hitting him with any any uh, power. You know, he's still my kid brother, even though he's an animal. Uh, <laughs> but I. I accidentally, after a couple of rounds, I accidentally hit him in the nose a little harder than I should have. Oh boy! Uh, and, here comes and the end of the so story. He, here comes, here comes, yeah, it's the end of the story. So here comes the reflex, uh, you know, natural uh, response to that was his left hook, which was his signature punch, and uh, uh, he cracked three ribs. And, oh wow! Uh, you know, I ended up, you know, in a sling and. and <laughs> couldn't get out of bed the next day so <laughs> that ended that ended my uh my boxing and sparring career with him that's awesome uh, that is, thanks for yeah, playing we, everybody right thanks for playing oh, exactly yeah exactly <laughs> so you I were mean, supposed to i'm sorry go ahead i'm just gonna tell you you know funny story you know he true story actually when he was an amateur fighter <clears throat> you know there was there was very little facilities in the clarksburg area so he had a heavy bag in in uh, my mother's garage and uh he would you know the garage right beside of the house and uh he would open the doors and he would he would go in there and work out and after he got warmed up he would walk out to the street and he would stand there and wait for someone to drive by that he knew <laughs> and, and try to get him to come in to come in the garage far <laughs> with him <laughs> And he would he would literally you know flag guys down and say hey come on in here and give me a couple of rounds <laughs> and uh, you know some you know some guys would do that and uh, then later he he got hooked up with some people in Fairmont and he did some training there uh, and then later you know we actually uh, uh, created a gym built a gym in Clarksburg where where he uh, trained for for quite some time. But uh, yeah, I can just I can see him to this day standing in front of my mother's house in the driveway, waving at people and trying to get him he, he'd flag him down. Come here, I want to talk to you. I, I'll tell you this right now: I don't think anybody at this table would be one to stop their car and get out and fight. What, was that? Yeah, your, what, you'd be surprised. You get a few guys back in the day, early in the day, that would uh, stop by and you know people we played football with or wrestled with, and they would go in there and. And uh, it was kind of scary because it was a concrete block garage, single stall garage. <laughs> oh and, wow! Oh, you know, he they would they would spar in there and literally bounce off the block. <laughs> was, was that was, uh, was that your one and was only? Was that your one and only sparring uh, bout with him? Uh, actually, yes, it was. It actually, was. <laughs> one and, and done. Uh, no, I take that back. I did. He did con me into sparring. <laughs> I think again later, and he promised to go easy. And, uh, <laughs> I think maybe twice was the the, uh, the 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 end of it, but uh, but he used to get you know anyone and everyone that would uh, were willing to to spar with him. In fact, he would go to the Clarksburg Fire Department, and they had uh, they had a heavy bag and some weights and some equipment 
uh, in the firehouse and he knew some of the firemen and he would go there and work out sometime. And those guys would actually put the gloves on with him. And, uh, then some of the, the police officers he worked with, he was a policeman, his day job. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, you know, he would spar with anyone he could get to spar with. And, that's, that's a great awesome. story. Yeah, that that's is awesome. phenomenal story. stories. Well, we were supposed to have you on Friday night. And, uh, we Once again, we do appreciate your understanding of her. Oh, you're you welcome. No problem. But here's the one thing I do want to uh, share with you. Uh, it was a great event. A lot of talk about Rough and Rowdy. Uh, promoted great. the event. Um, even us in Generations were having conversations going back and forth on some of the uh, antics that is going to take place that night. I guess <laughs> I guess the owner of Generations is going to be your Jell-O um, referee. Yeah, he's going to be Jell-O. He's going to be the Jell-O referee. Wrestling referee. <laughs> that is for, the, uh, for the smaller guys, and, right? And exactly. Yeah, well, actually, it, 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 it's going to be two ring girls. Oh, <laughs> oh. And, that, uh, just, that just changed everything. Yeah, yeah. everything. Wow. We're, we're actually still working out the details there. We are, we originally going to we have two dwarf ring girls, and uh, we were originally planning to have the two two dwarf ring girls do the Jello Ooh. wrestling, but one of the girls decided. She did not want to do it because the other girl outweighed her too much. No. Even though it's all in fun and it's not a, it's not a real wrestling match. It's actually a 60, one sixty second round, and the the winner will be based on who gets the most Jello on their opponent. <laughs> so, uh, hey, yes. Who knows? Mike Mike could end up in the pool. Yeah, yeah. he may be the winner. Yeah. He may be the winner. To, you know, uh, yeah, exactly. you know, Barstool has been kind of, uh, so, kind of an inspiration for what we're doing here. And I was just curious, you know, is this your first time working with Barstool? Uh, it is. It's our first event, and uh, it, uh, it's an interesting, you know, uh, business situation. Uh, Barstool actually, about four years ago, I'll just tell you a quick story here on the uh, Rough and Rowdy event in Barstool. They actually ran into the event, which was started by uh, a guy from Charleston who uh, was basically copying uh, Tough Man and doing a similar event, two nights in a tournament and so on. And and uh, they ran across him by accident, literally, and uh, they, they watched an event. They liked it. So they decided that uh, they would do a test basically uh, with him and they uh, they did a, a pay-per-view on a couple of events down the southern part of the state and they went well so they decided uh, after doing a couple of those uh, they they bought him out <clears throat> and then he stayed on for a few years uh, and worked for them and then his contract expired in January of this year and uh, they were looking for you know for a new promoter so they, they contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in partnering up with them. Uh, and obviously I was. And, uh, about four or five weeks later and a few lawyers later, uh, we, we ironed out a three year agreement. So we, we're, it's kind of interesting. And we, you know, my people, myself included laugh about this. Uh, we, we are now promoting what used to be, uh, you know, our competitor slash copycat. <laughs> and, <laughs> Uh, yeah. but they changed the format. So it's really, and I probably need to explain this more so people will know and understand that they actually changed the format three years ago and they, they, uh, went to a one night event, all pre-matched bouts. And <clears throat> because, uh, there's prize money involved. The, these are actually amateur fighters competing in a, what's sanctioned by the state athletic commission and supervised by the athletic commission. Same people, obviously that, that sanction and supervise and license our tough man events, as well as all combative sporting events. It's sanctioned actually as a semi pro event because of prize money uh, paid out and it's three, one minute rounds, same as tough man. The difference is not a tournament. It's one night. Each fighter has just one fight. So we we put out the word, you know, we're doing the event, did some advertising, and we received about 300 entries uh, from people who wanted to fight in the event in about a week or so. So we had to turn off the entry form on the website oh, wow. and wade through 300 applications. Yeah, Jerry, uh, I was going to – I'm sorry to interrupt yeah. you, but I wanted to ask. I, right. I was very interested in hearing uh, 
how do you match these fighters up and are, and are you aware of them do you guys have to do research on them how, how does that work uh actually all of the above so we, <laughs> we uh we do research uh, of course we 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 get a lot of information from every person and then we we uh we do some research and we we have about four different five different sources that we we check for experience and uh, once we verify that they haven't had have not had any pro boxing experience and we you know we try to verify their their fighting experience if they've had any <clears throat> actually we check either way uh, and you know most people are forthcoming and, and give us you know accurate information but you know occasionally someone tries to pull fast when you know <laughs> slip in so we have to, to t- check and double check so once we verify all their information there are two ladies in the office that work with me and they uh, they do the background checks and after they do their research then they they uh, bring the entry form and the information to me uh once i sign off on it then then we break it down uh very simply by age height and weight and then experience of course and it takes a while when you're waiting 300 entries uh, so we, uh, you know, we still use an old school system to do that, but basically we, we match them up the same way we do tough man, uh, which is age, height and weight and experience. And, uh, so it turns out that, you know, you'll see if you've been to tough man before you'll see, uh, people on the first night in the first round on the second night that are very close to, if not the same age, height and yeah, weight, right. yeah. um, uh, We've had guys. We've had guys get in the ring that literally could have been twins. <laughs> they didn't have yeah. Different color, you know, trunks on or shorts. Uh, so it's a relatively simple process, but it takes a lot of time. Yeah, I imagine to do that. And uh, we're talking about you know a couple of weeks or so. Uh, and then once we establish, you know, what would be a good match, then we contact. In this case, we contact. Uh, you know, both individuals and let them know that we have a match and let them know who it is and so forth and, uh, and ask them if, you know, if they're still interested and if that's okay. And once they give us, you know, their approval, then we, we put that on, on the website or on the, uh, the list and move on to the next one. And occasionally, of course, you'll get, uh, someone that'll change their mind or have a life event that causes them not to be able to, to participate you know job change shift change right. you know you name it illness uh, <clears throat> divorce uh, yeah. <laughs> jerry do you try uh, it, it happens do you try to um do you base any of your choices on local guys to help draw fans in like do you try oh, to- absolutely yeah absolutely that's also an important factor and i'm glad you mentioned that but yeah we we try to uh to to match up and and uh include as many local slash regional fighters that we can because obviously we have to sell tickets you know to help pay for this event Correct. uh and you'll see on this card uh we actually have 25 bouts as of today okay. and uh you know we have uh, just off the top of my head somewhere around a dozen people from wheeling okay. uh, you know ohio valleys mm-hmm. and then some from washington pa pittsburgh uh you know, matched up Parkersburg, Clarksburg, Morgantown, Fairmont. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, there's, there's quite a few. And some, some of the matchups, I mean, I'm very excited about the card because I, you know, personally uh, made every match on this, this event. Hmm. And some of these guys, you know, we, some of these people, rather, there's male and female, uh, we know through uh, Tough Man. For, for example, uh, Barstool created a championship uh, series a couple of years ago, and there are some some people that have Barstool titles. And the Barstool heavyweight champion, uh, whose name is uh, Dylan, uh, or excuse me, Delvin Hamlet, aka the Country Hoodlum, <laughs> he, is, he is he's undefeated, uh, and. He is the barstool uh, title holder in the super heavyweight oh, wow. division. And, so what's uh, what's super heavyweight, Jerry? What what weight up oh, from that? Over oh, over two hundred and fifteen pounds. Okay, okay. okay. So over two fifteen. So uh, the country hoodlum. He's about two thirty to two thirty five. <laughs> 
he is he's going to face off with the American redneck. <laughs> the American the American redneck is Bradley Huntsman exactly. Bradley Huntsman who's the two-time Ohio Valley tough man heavyweight champion. Ooh, yeah. So we have the Ohio Valley tough man heavyweight champion uh, matched up wow. with the country hoodlum from Virginia oh, who's that... the barstool heavyweight oh, champion. Boy. Oh, that's like a clash of belts gonna here. Be, this is going to be a good fight. Oh, yeah. I tell you, I the, one, good I tell you the, one that, uh, the one that I'm looking at, Jerry, is I keep on seeing all the hype because actually these storylines become soap operas. It's absolutely hilarious. Yeah. But how about the the one that's going back and forth right now is Big Dick Booty Daddy versus Lights <laughs> yeah. Out Lang. And I tell yeah. you what, the things the Big Dick Booty Daddy is saying, yeah. is saying about I this know. guy's wife. He's, oh, he's, wow. Uh, yeah, he, he's a character spelled with a capital K. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he he is quite a character, but he he was a police officer, and then he went to work for the uh, customs and border patrol. Uh, oh wow! A pretty interesting guy. Uh, but anyway, he's he's only had two fights, but he made such an impression on on everyone in, in his last two fights. Was well, name Jack, alone? Of course, <laughs> exactly. Well, that and his actions, but he he called out he called out Bobby Lang, and Bobby Lang is undefeated in six fights. And he is the the cruiserweight, actually it's heavyweight, cold heavyweight uh, champion. He's about 190 pounds, and uh, uh, Booty Daddy is <laughs> 200 pounds. Uh, no, his real name is Noah DiCapria, and uh, so they uh, there's some bad blood there. In fact, the the event has been dubbed yeah. uh, Rough and Rowdy. It's the 17th event they've done, and it's been dubbed Bad Blood. <laughs> And the bad blood is right there. Lights out, Lang, uh, and uh, Booty Daddy, uh, and that honestly, uh, I think, will be one heck of a fight. Uh, uh, we've scheduled extra security, <laughs> honestly, for not not only the event but the weigh-in. By the way, you guys are coming down. Oh, Jer- when's that? When's that, Jared? The official weigh-in. You guys are invited Thursday evening at West Banco Arena, yeah. and. Uh, we will we, 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 we will definitely be uh be getting a guy over there. I'll tell you what, Jerry. Thanks for inviting deal. us on that. We do yeah, appreciate that very much. So. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, 6 hey, p.m. Oh, sorry, yeah. Jerry. I was going to ask you, uh, do you also do the uh, recruiting for the ring girls? Because I know some guys around here that will probably want to help you with that. <laughs> I don't know how that works. <laughs> we're, we're taking bids on that. Oh, okay. okay. All right. All right. Yeah, it's a tough job, but some of the guys do sure, it. But I'm I have, sure. Jerry, but I have, I have two women in the office that supervise me <laughs> oh, on that. I'm task. sure they do a great and, job. Jerry, what are so, the other? Yeah. What are the other unique uh, fights for people out there? I, I, I've heard oh, it's, over it, five. I mean, the list goes on. But over here, 500 pounds. Two guys over. Yeah. Five, literally yeah, over 500 pounds. Well, unfortunately, we lost a quarter of a ton yesterday. <laughs> Uh, the, Can- the Canadian, the Canadian butcher, forgot to to check his passport. Oh and no! It was expired, so oh. he went. He spent six hours at the passport office yesterday. He didn't realize it was expired until last weekend. So he was he renewed his passport, but then he was told uh, that it would be four weeks before he actually received it. So oh. he is out. That's devastating. So he, oh, that's horrible. Well. Too. It is. So we found the next biggest guy that we could find. <laughs> Where'd you find him? Uh, well, he turns out he showed up at a local gym in Clarksburg about a month ago. Oh, well, they were going to say a local I haven't restaurant. met him, but I've heard about it. Yeah, we, we went, found him at the buffet. <laughs> he is uh, he is he is just he's a, he's a little guy. He's three hundred and sixty pounds. Oh, geez, God, like skinny, and, light. And his name is Notorious. Pearl spelled H E A R L Collins. Oh, so wow. Pearl Collins has stepped up and is going to replace the Canadian butcher, and he's going to fight uh, Slap for Cash, who is 500 pounds. Slap for Cash is an interesting character. You should Google him. Actually, I have. I actually have. He's the one that created the Russian slap boxing, right? That's it. Yeah. Actually, he he created that before the Russians came along. They bought it from him. But oh wow! I didn't, how okay, he I didn't started. Interesting story. He, uh, according to him, anyway, <clears throat> he says twelve years ago he got the bright idea that, that as a joke, he would go down. He lives in Vegas. He would go down the street, and he would offer 
someone money. I forgot to ask him how much to let him slap them and record it and post it on social media. And he was getting people that were, were agreeing to do it. Uh, and it, you know, he did it as a joke and people started following him and now he has over a million followers on Twitter wow. right now. Wow. So quite a character. He decided at, after the Russians bought him out, uh, he did a few of those slap fighting championships himself. He uh, turned to a couple other businesses, but he decided to take to boxing. <laughs> and <laughs> been training for a couple of years in, in a big gym in Vegas. And um, so he's had two fights. He's only had two fights, uh, lost his first fight by decision in Atlanta to a, a former football player. Uh, I saw, I watched the video actually. If you go on YouTube, it, you'll see it. Um, so then his last fight, he, he fought a guy that was 450 pounds, I believe. And he literally knocked him out in 18 seconds. <laughs> uh, but the guy he's fighting <clears throat> again, what little bit I've, I've uh, seen so far in video and pictures and stats, uh, his uncle was a pro fighter who fought for me years ago, and he's a, he's an oil and gas guy, and uh, you know he's a country boy, a big country boy. Yeah, I bet he's a rough and, customer, and he's a pretty. He looks to me like a pretty rough customer. Yeah, I figure. <laughs> and he, of course, he changed. He he, he actually uh, came out with a video. I should send it to you. He uh, he refers to slap for cash as slap dick. <laughs> <laughs> He sent a message out slap. to Slapdick, yeah, Slapdick, that he is going to knock him out. So we'll see. It'll be interesting. So 500 pounds versus 360. So we we lost 150 pounds. <laughs> and, uh, and you weigh the, them where at, Jerry? Because you shared this with yeah. me on the phone. Where do you weigh those guys at? Oh, they're weighing in local at meat West factory. Banco Arena. But no, I thought West you told Banco me with some of those big guys you had to take to the truck stop, right? <laughs> well, no, we actually brought in a special scale. For those <laughs> okay. Right. The uh, so they'll they'll square off and they'll do some some interviews and some talking. You'll see a lot of trash talk. Hear a lot of trash talking going on at the weigh in, and there'll you, be police hey, there. Hey, Jerry, to make you, sure. Oh, yeah. sorry. Uh, do you? Uh, are you still doing the ring announcing? Do you do that as well? I read that somewhere. Absolutely. Okay. Sure. That's so the you fun be, part of the event for me, man. I'm sure. I get to introduce all these guys and talk about them. That's that's fantastic. So when we come down there Thursday, will you announce the guys there too? Or how does that work? Actually, uh, we're going to have someone. Barstool is bringing in someone. They're going to live stream it at 7. Oh, wow. And, okay. And uh, we'll get the fighters checking in from 6 to 7 and get their paperwork done and all that. And Athletic Commission will be there to get their licensing. And oh, nice. then about 7 p.m., they'll pick out about a dozen or so. Of course, we have five title fights, and they'll interview all those people. And uh, we have two dwarf fights on the, on the card. Uh, Dynamite, Jeremy Smith, who is from Columbus, trains with Travis Clark. Uh, in St. Clairsville, uh, he's the he's the barstool. Uh, it's actually his official title is BMFD. <laughs> okay, you I think, figure it I out. I can kind of okay. guess that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. that's cool. So he's undefeated, and he's he's fighting uh, a guy from Oklahoma City, uh, who his ring name is King Midget. He's a pro wrestler <laughs> turned boxer, wow. and. Uh, yeah, King Midget, uh, <laughs> Trey Jackson, a.k.a. Trey Jackson, and uh, he's pretty game. I've seen him. I've seen video of him in wrestling matches, jumping on the ropes in a wrestling ring, doing a handstand and doing uh, handstand, I guess you call them, upright push-ups. Oh my! Oh wow! Yeah, so <laughs> he's, he's pretty stout. Now Holy he's shit. all he's all of four foot five. Wait, that's King Midget. That's, 25. That's King Midget. King. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, Jerry, so there are two little, the two little studs in there, and there's another one um, <laughs> fighting on the card. Uh, his name is Smidge the Doorman. <laughs> Smidge, Smidge wow. the Doorman, aka Casey uh, O'Connor, is going to fight the Heartbreaker from uh, from L.A. Uh, oh, L.A. Wow. Y yeah, he's uh, he's he's another. Pro wrestler turned boxer. Uh, 
And uh, so that's our other dwarf match. And then, we, of course, we have uh, four female bouts on the card. We have uh, the reigning women's uh, welterweight champion, Cherry Bomb. Uh, her name is Carissa Lambert. She's a former tough woman champion. She she is fighting the Cherry Popper. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh Pittsburgh. Hey. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, Jess, Jess Samino, the Cherry, a.k.a. the Cherry, cherry Popper. Popper. Uh, yep. And then, of course, we have Scarface versus the American Ninja. <laughs> and the American Ninja just didn't <laughs> think that name. He won that competition a couple oh, of times. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. National TV. Yeah. And, uh, wow. Jeez. Yeah, so that's a hell of a fight there. Uh, Scarface J- Jacob Skinner is twenty-one and one as his record, and uh, his opponent, the Ninja uh, Brendan Kelly, is eleven and two. Kelly actually challenged Scarface, and he's a, the Scarface has the barstool belt. Oh my! The yeah. Ninja put up put up five thousand dollars of his own money. Oh, oh wow! To Scarface, if Scarface can beat him. Wow, oh, that's that's really neat. Put up or shut up, real yeah. quick, right? Yeah. Yeah. Put up or shut up. Wow. So hey, there's so a, there's, there's I mean, a lot there's, of sidebars to this, Gary. Oh, no, right? there's a, a lot of tremendous. That's awesome. oh, There's a tremendous amount of sidebars. Oh, on that's this great. Thing. Again, five title fights. You know, some big guys, some little guys. Jello you know, wrestling. Jello wrestling. Got it all. That's awesome. Two Something dwarf ring girls. You know, we had. <laughs> by, by the way, speaking of ring girls. Uh, we had thirty girls sign up to be a ring girl. Oh, thirty. Wow. Wow. Is that is that a high number? So, How many do you usually get for uh, tough man? We 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 normally have for tough man uh, twenty maybe twenty five okay. wow. sign up. Good so nice. it was it was difficult to to decide you know who to select and so forth. So I got with the barstool guys and uh, we decided we would invite them all. Oh, wow. cool. That's awesome. hey, so, so we so, booked so we we booked thirty ring girls. Wow. <laughs> what will they be wearing, Jerry? Sweats and sweatshirts? <laughs> it's gonna be cold Not much. Night. <laughs> <laughs> hey hey Jerry, have you had much yeah. uh, have you had much uh conversation or many conversations with the uh higher ups at Barstool or uh, any of those guys yeah. are gonna be around on Thursday? Sure. Yeah. Actually Dave Portnoy and Dan Katz will be at ringside doing the blow by blow commentary. Awesome. For the pay per view, I'll do the the what we're calling the in house live uh, or local uh, commentary, and they'll do the uh, the pay per view commentary. They'll be seated right you know on the same side of the ring as myself. I've only talked to Dave once. Uh, I haven't met Dan yet, but I deal on a regular basis with the C E C O O rather, uh, which is Stu Holland's head. Okay, and. Uh, uh, there's quite a few people that work for Barstool, and you know they'll they'll have an army of people there, of course, awesome. for the broadcast. They have a massive production team of about 40 people. Wow! Oh man! Oh, That's, this is so exciting. My team, it is exciting. My team will do everything we normally do, you know, with the local promotion, the matchmaking, the fighter coordination, the setup, and so forth. And then Barstool will do the the uh, broadcast uh, pay per view. Uh, and the interviews and all that stuff. So it it'll be uh, it'll be interesting. There'll be a lot of people there. And uh, by the way, ticket sales are going well, but we still have good seats available. And uh, you know, tickets are available at westbankarena.com. Westbankarena.com. And if you person doesn't have their tickets yet, they can get them online all the way up till showtime, Great. or just show up at you know at the uh, at the arena on Friday night. Gates are going to open about 7 p.m. and we'll start the event at 8 p.m. sharp with uh, the presentation of the colors by the United States Marine Corps Color Guard. That's awesome. Uh, Dan Katz will do the anthem, and uh, it's going to be a hell of a show. Hey Jerry, one one more thing, and then Jubs, we're going to wrap it up here. I, I know you're sure, busy. Sure, go ahead. Hey, uh, go we're, ahead. We're, we'll probably come down Thursday. Uh, Come on so, down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, would you mind if we'd uh, grab a couple of your guys and get a few words from them for our... Uh... Not at all. No. Oh, okay. So you don't mind if we'd uh, get a few words with some of your guys yeah. for our, for our podcast? Good. Hey, thanks for that, yeah, Jerry. That's still good. Awesome. Sure. Well, I appreciate yeah, that. Hey, and it was welcome. a pleasure, buddy. Yeah, yeah it, we, we really appreciate you coming on. I know, I know, I know you're busy with all the stuff going on, but uh, well, I guess, is there anything else you want to promote that's going on or that is going to be go- going on? Anything we missed? Any... any... <laughs> Anything that wasn't uh, covered? The base we've we've hit the basics. You know, again, I'll just run down real quick. Twenty five fights, 
bunch of ring girls. We're not sure exactly how many will be there. It could be 25 or 30. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing 15 to 20, but that's still a big number. Um, you know, with the five title fights, you know, uh, featuring, you know, of course, one of which is that American redneck versus the country hoodlum there. I mean, there's a lot of great <laughs> matches on this card and the big guys and, uh, the little guys, you know, the girls are four female bouts. I mean, it's, uh, it's going to be one heck of a show. And you'll see in a lot of these, if you guys, you know, follow tough man, or if you've been to tough man, you'll see some familiar faces that have been in tough man in recent, uh, recent years. Um, uh, in fact, uh, I think on the undercard, well, Carissa Lambert, Cherry Bomb was a former tough mm. woman champion and a Miss Ring Girl. Oh. In fact, she's going to be a ring girl as Double well. duty, huh? Jeez. Double duty, oh, yep. Wow. And uh, there's uh, there's a couple other uh, former tough man champions. Jacob Skinner's a former tough man champ, I believe. And, uh, you know, the Ninja is a former tough man champion also. Uh, so it's, I mean, there's a mixed bag, but a lot, you know, a lot of uh, very interesting characters and a lot of tough people on this card i mean we're going to see some some you know some funny stuff but we're going to see some serious fights that's yeah. awesome great. Yeah. great we're looking forward to yeah it. we're definitely looking forward to it jerry yeah and, and let, again let's we really appreciate you coming on uh you're welcome my pleasure yeah this is yeah so yeah you're our kind of our first official guest that at least it's called in and and we uh, again uh it, we couldn't thank you enough for taking time and hopefully, oh, you're very uh, welcome. you know, we Thank might you. see it. We might see it come Friday, and and uh, I hope so. Yeah, yeah, and Thursday, uh, Thursday too, for sure. Thursday, Thursday. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, we've been promoting you, Jerry, for now what, what like a month. <laughs> yes, we've been promoting you hard on this uh, podcast that's, for a month. That's so. great. I I really appreciate it, yeah. guys. And uh, and again, it's going to be a great event. And this is also I want to mention this is the first uh, barstool rough and rowdy event in Wheeling, and. You know, I think it's going to go very well. And I picked Wheeling as our first, you know, venue uh, together with Barstool. And uh, we're hoping to make this an annual event. Awesome. And of course, this again, just to clarify, it will be in addition to the Tough Man contest. Uh, that we've been doing for now 42 years. But, wow. Wow. Uh, hey, Jared, I yeah. don't know. I don't know whether yeah, great, you know. Great. Also, yeah. we're going to be hosting, and he may, does he know about? Yeah, it? we'll be there on River City on Friday five, night as well. Five to seven thirty. If you stop over, we'll buy you a drink and uh, get you warmed up, and uh, <laughs> maybe have maybe maybe uh, talk a little bit more over there. But we're going to be promoting you, and we're we're really really excited. I about appreciate. It. It. Actually, uh, we'll be pretty busy about that time. But Friday night, uh, of course, Jason. At River City is going to be hosting the after fight party, so oh, okay. uh, a lot of Great. us will stop by River City after the event. But it'll be eleven, eleven thirty. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we'll be there. Awesome. We'll, <laughs> we'll be, be there. Okay. Yes, for sure. Hey, Jerry. Once again, you guys will be happy by then, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once again, let, uh, we appreciate. It. I know I keep saying that, but we really do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully, everything goes great. I know it will on great. Friday. And uh, I think so. Yep. And uh, hopefully we see you around, and maybe we get get to talk to you then. But, okay, um, guys. Hey, have yeah, a great night, Jack. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. You, you too. Thanks a lot. Take Bye -bye. care, guys. Bye -bye. All right. So last week we uh, put out uh, put out uh, some picks. If you didn't see that, we put our uh, picks out on social media. We got a little graphic out there. Everything from uh, Matt's uh, Aus uh, what's Aussie Aussie yeah, rules Australian football. Australian rules football. My uh, my UFC picks. Chris had some hockey picks. Uh, Jared had. What'd you have? Baseball. Baseball. NASCAR, yeah, we had a NASCAR. Jeff, you had some baseball. Loser. It's called a loser. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Jeff, it's early. But yeah, if you, if you want to look out, you know, put in some bets with us. We put those out on Friday. So Friday morning you can look look out for, you know, bets for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And yeah. And for gamblers stuff. out there, as a group, we were plus four units. So if you put uh a little shackle on all all of our picks, you're you're up right now. So I think and, and a Chris, couple of tight Chris losses. Chris was yeah. Chris was three and zero. Oh, yeah, and of I'm course he didn't bet him. Yeah, what's of course well, he didn't bet him. Everybody's record so far. You're th Chris is three and zero. Oh. Yeah. Dad, you're Owen oh Owen oh Owen oh one. I gave Boston oh Bruins. One. They got beat three two. Matt, you're I'm two and two. Two and two. With a couple of heartbreakers. I'm one and zero oh. <laughs> on the verge of four and zero. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Guaranteed like always, lock, <laughs> guaranteed lock of the loser here. So you can just follow me. Just go opposite every time. You'll be golden. Yeah. What I'm were what? you? What'd you end up being, Jeff? Oh, for one. <laughs> okay, I'm one and I was one and zero. All Sorry. right, so not. So, I mean, Chris, the pressure's on you overall, though this week. Overall, overall well, we were nine I, and five. I, yeah, nine and five. Nine and five. Chris, give us your hockey. Solid. Give us your hockey as we move into the semifinals in the what division play? 
Yeah, this is the yeah. second round. Yep. Second round division right. play. And then the his conference point, finals in Chris NBA. Is, Chris is a diehard Penguins fan, and they got eliminated yeah. in a tough so Now you can time. concentrate on, on now, yeah, now money. Yeah, now I can win money. The heart's out of it. The wallet's involved now. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> looking at the, the East, I, I think uh, – that Tampa's going to beat Florida because of goal. I think that'll oh, go that's, seven. That's an upset. Uh, it, it'll 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 be a deep series, probably six at least. Yeah, and I, I think Carolina will have no problem with the Rangers. I mean, the Penguins. You just hate the Rangers, you though. Hate the you fucking hate the Rangers. The Rangers could be playing. No, they, the, the Rangers could be playing. The the Lindsley, and, and you'd, see, you'd think Lindsley <laughs> no, was going to beat him. Carolina's way better than that. How would you just pull Lindsley out of here? Well, I don't know. That's, that's the first thing I've <laughs> Lindsley. It's or, not like you don't want me to bet Carolina. No, I just know you hate the Rangers. As a matter of fact, you I said do. that. Fuck them. <laughs> I don't like them. Right, like right. What so about you, in the West, Chris? Uh, we'll take uh, uh, the best team in hockey. Colorado would beat St. Louis, and then. Battle of that, Alberta. I know Edmonton. Uh, Calgary's got the the home ice, but I don't. I don't I'm mean, I'm hoping for some fisticuffs uh, in that, yeah, that series. That, that, that should be, be really fun. Ugly. Uh, I'll, I'll I'm going to go with Calgary. Yeah. So I guess I, the only upset I really have is Tampa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, Makes uh, sense. I mean, what about an NBA? And all you listeners, stay tuned for Friday when Chris releases his the, gold star picks. The, the Heat and the uh, Warriors will be in the finals, but that's I don't know anything about it. And, and I mean, Cooley's yeah. down at the Heat game, right? Yeah, now. Cooley, Cooley is down at game one right now. He should be doing a report. Hey, we should be tapping into him right now. Right, what, legit. What is, on those uh, – <laughs> no. no, don't worry about it. On Man those – uh, the, the, the Western NBA, what, what seed – the Warriors and Mavs, what is that? Who, uh, Well, the Warriors – the Memphis was the one. So Or no, Suns. Suns were the one. So that would have been two, three. So I guess okay. three. Right. Suns three made a nice show in, yeah, the, boy, in, were, in, in game seven. They were really good. Jeez. Well, yeah. I wanted to bring they, weren't they down quick. 50 at one so point? Dallas yes, must have been four or five. Yes, yeah. Dallas right. was four. Okay. But, but, weren't the Suns down 50 at one yeah, point? That, yeah. uh, Dauntsich had as many points as they did at halftime. 27, but, 27. But what's the difference? Like, there were so many blowouts in the NBA. I mean, that, that, those two games yeah. last or the other day were game sevens, right? Yeah. Yeah. Complete and, garbage. And, and, uh, they were awful. The Celtics won by 28 and, and was the never Mavs close. won by 33. And that had yep. to be the worst. And the Mavs won at Phoenix, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's that's I was just saying it had to be the worst been, home how does that game seven performance in any sport Absolutely, ever. Jared. You're right about that. There's ever. hard to find a worse one than that that at I can home. remember. I mean, that's pathetic. Brutal. Imagine Job, what are your, what's, your, what's your thoughts on the NBA and the NHL? Well, you know, I, I, I you ain't know, good. Oh, well, no, you know, it's going to be an exciting. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be our first thing in the merch store. Is he ain't good, he but ain't I, yeah, good. I think, I think it's going to be a fun weekend. Um, <laughs> a lot of stuff going on. It's going to be intense. You had a, lot a good of UFC pick the other night. Yeah, so yeah. Job. You guys can see that Jubs. Yeah, well, you took us down a bad road the week before. Well, well, he, well, he what's the week before himself. matter? What's hey, that matter? Hey, you're one and zero. Punch. Yeah. Gun hey. punch. As far as PRP picks, you're one and zero. Yeah. Hey, you're like, hey, good job, asshole. My, <laughs> my early uh, my early stuff for UFC uh, this week. I think um, uh, it's uh, Holly Holm versus uh, Vieira. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I th- I take Holly. If, uh, this is early, so I'm not. This is not official until you see right. that. The, Gotta the, see this. Until you see the, the, the graphic. The, the graphic. This is not official, but I take Holly Holmes. Holly Holm by uh, TKO or uh, by TKO, and then I got a big one, big steamer. Uh, I'm not Ooh. gonna. It's not official yet, but Cooley and I, I's boy uh, Jun Young Park, uh, aka the Iron Turtle, he broke the record for the, the Iron Turtle. Is he turd. named after uh, Gamera, the, the turtle, turtle from the <laughs> Orient? <laughs> I was just wondering. Leonardo and yeah, Raphael. He actually, he, he, he actually, he fought a couple weeks, not a couple weeks, I think a couple, two months ago. He, uh, when actually we were in the Pine Room last year, he broke the record in the UFC for the amount of ground strikes landed. So, wow. uh, yeah, that's a little thing. Okay. I'd, I'd take him. Right. My early pick by TKO, KO, or submission. You can get that on Drake The Iron King, Turtle. Right? Okay. The Iron Matt, Turtle. Matt, we got the Preakness coming. Yeah. After yeah. the, uh, after the the unbelievable upset in the um, Kentucky yeah. Derby, uh, but that that so we're not going to one hundred percent not going to have a triple crown winner. No, no, sir. Rich Strike is uh, going on to the uh, Belmont, I believe, is where he's th- planning on running next. Okay, his got, trainer's planning. Matt, on he didn't running. finish his food. Yeah, was was that the reason? no? He, well, no, they just said they just said he was a little bit lethargic in his workouts, is what I read. So that I mean, he, he was he was eating he okay. Slept in. They probably could have taken him, and then he they slept. wanted to, and the, yeah, he slept. He overslept. <laughs> and he didn't get up to eat his cereal. He might, he, he might deserve to sleep. He in. Yeah. <laughs> woke up with a long face. Yeah, Chris, what, what kind of what kind <laughs> of cereal do you think he, Rich he, Strike eats? His shredded wheat was still there when they poured it for him. Booberry. I would probably. Is there any? Is there any? 
uh, cereals that have like a horse as a. Mr. Ed. Was that a horse? Lucky Charms has a uh, unicorn. All right, that's the closest yeah, one. Go. Jeff, you think Rich Strike has already helped it and, you know, started to produce uh, b- babies? The <laughs> one pump chump. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they are. He's they're making what? some No, tache. listen, they got his, his, his genitals are being protected right now by. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's wearing teeth. a cup. Soft he's, rag. Yeah. With a soft yeah, rag. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's. <laughs> He, he isn't mounting anything yet, so yeah, only he's only being mounted by John. Right, Reggie. He's probably in a king size bed in a in yeah, you know, for sure. He's lots of money, grapes, money. smoking a cigarette, right yeah. <laughs> smoking a Marlboro Light. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, he has no Rick worries. Strike. His life is going to get really. Strike has no. He's worries. got about a few more months, and his life's going to get really good. Yeah. So he's going to a farm. So Matt, who you? So Matt, who's your uh, uh, well, who's your pick? I, I've liked this horse called Early Voting. He's been kind of uh, lined up to go to the Preakness the entire year. Uh, he's trained by Chad Brown. He's a really good trainer. And he's uh, he he's just starting to come into his own here. He, he finished uh, close second to Mo Donegal in the Wood Memorial a few weeks back. I love him. He's really well rested here. He's going to shoot right to the lead, assuming he breaks well. And I think he could wire the field, so he would definitely be my top pick. Um Epicenter is going to be tough to beat. He's really good. He'll stay close, and that's that's the one horse I would be a little fearful of. But he's starting to get a little tired. He's raced a lot in the last uh, couple of months, so I'm uh, taking a shot with early voting. He's about seven to two right now. Right. Now, now is 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 this the same kind of day as Kentucky Derby, where there's races all day at at? Uh... Yeah, so there'll be there'll be races all day at Pimlico. This card's not nearly as good as the Kentucky oh, okay. Derby card, but actually the Belmont Stakes in a few weeks. Best card in racing uh, for the Triple Crown. Now, will you do the same thing you did last week? Play uh, play the yeah. The... I'll play multi races. I wouldn't expect payouts to be that great here. Uh, it tends to uh, lean towards the favorites, uh, especially now that we've had a lot of the Kentucky Derby horses aren't coming to this event anymore, and it's kind of been uh, some of the fresh shooters have won, so it's uh, a little bit predictable actually. So I would expect uh, you know great racing again to watch, but. Uh, not nearly the it, p- potential payouts of the. Derby. Is there is there is there as good a chance of a major upset in this race as there was the, the Derby? This would be the least because is this the shortest? Yes, the, mile and three sixteen. Okay, yeah, it's, it's shorter. And we also have a filly that's uh, in the race too. Uh, Secret Oath. Yeah, Secret Oath. She's pretty strong. She won the Kentucky Oaks and very impressively. She ran in the Arkansas Derby. Pretty good effort. That's uh, my pick. She think, she has oh, a shot. That's my and, pick. and we've have had uh, figures a woman. This would be the seventh seventh filly. <laughs> yeah, seventh. Jeff, I think, Jeff I think, uh, a woman. You did a little research there, Jeff. Yes, I like that. I think, Rachel uh, Alexander. Matt, do you know, uh, I think Mike. Go ahead. You got anything on Skippy Longstocking? I tell you what, Skippy it's Longstocking name, is all right. The only thing that I really, if you're playing trifectas or superfectas, I would absolutely use use him. Uh, I'm not sure he can win. He's raced about seven or eight times, so which is a lot for these three year olds. Usually, if they haven't like peaked. I, he kind of probably already has hit his plateau, so I don't know if he can improve. Whereas the the horse that I like early voting, this is only his third, uh, fourth start, so they can still show a lot of improvement uh, in their speed figures. So usually by race six, if a horse hasn't maxed out, you know, then you kind of get off of him. So. Well, then let's go. Uh, let's go down the table here and make a, make our picks for uh, the Preakness. So Chris, oh, I'm taking simplification all the way. <laughs> all right, Dad, Chris, Chris on that. Chris um, a simple man. Yep. I tell you what, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna eh, I'm not gonna go with that. I'll take uh, Arm 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 Armagnac. How you say his name? Arm uh, Armagnac. Yeah, Arm Arm. I, well, it's, yeah, it's Arm, like Cognac. Arm, Armagnac. Co- yeah. Cognac. Armagnac. Right, I think I, that's how Frank. That's who I'm saying. taking. Armagnac. 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 All right, that's what you're gonna do Friday Matt, night after generations. Yeah, I'm early Armagnac. voting. Armagnac. <laughs> Matt's on early voting. Yeah, Matt's on that. I I shouldn't take this, but I just like his name. I'm gonna go with Fenwick. Fenwick well, Island. Well, that's funny because my pick, my logical pick is Secret Oath. But I think what I read, Matt, was Fenwick. If Fenwick can get out, is a possible horse that Give could go Fenwick. wire to wire just with the speed. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say as my crazy pick. Yeah. You're oh. taking Fenwick. Well, yeah, we'll go with <laughs> I can't believe you went off your girl. Well, I did. I said Secret Oath is my logical pick. Okay, so, uh, so well, what, okay, so, but when I put this graphic out, so the money, 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 who you want on. Uh, go Secret Oath. All yeah. right. <laughs> hey, I'll take. Hey, I'll take oh. my high five back. Okay, Jarrett. <laughs> I'm going with my boy Skippy Longstocking. All right, there they are. You'll see those picks uh, probably before, uh, probably for uh, tomorrow morning. I'll, I'll get yeah, those I'll, out. I'll quick. put out. I'm going to put out a couple of uh, trifectas there. I'll I'll put on the picks for Saturday too. Yeah, keep following the social media and you'll get some updates and you'll you'll see 
some stuff of uh, more so you won't you might not see a graphic every time on social media for picks so uh, you know follow us on twitter or stuff if we just put a you know some some solo pick out or something for right. the week or something for the day so if you're a betting person just check uh social media or just you know put your notifications on or something and you might get some bets from you coach know, do you like multiple. anybody in the uh pga and then we got the second of the uh four majors correct right. yep the pga this starting on thursday well scotty scheffler is obviously the probably the hottest golfer going right now Absolutely. so he's going to be the he's yeah. going to be the favorite but I, I i again i'm a cameron smith fan yep i don't know how he plays Does that this to do course. with the long hair no, yeah, yeah, yeah it's sort of the, the Australian, sort of the crazy the hair like a little, a and the mustache it sort of goes in his mouth he looks like joe dirt <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that's a great it's analogy a, yeah. looks like joe dirt yeah yeah i i like him i i i had him uh, a couple of weeks ago and he came through for me so i'm i'm gonna take cameron smith as my not long shot but my yeah. Little underdog, and he's then, around twenty five to one. Yeah, and then Scotty Scheffler obviously is going to be, be yeah, tough to I beat. I agree. Who, who don't you like, Matt? Who, uh, who do you not like? Uh, well, I I'm not a Rory McIlroy guy. Nah, so I, I bet against him already. I won't play John Rom either. A nah, lot of these I guys, like, I don't think he's. Playing and I think well. Jordan Spieth's playing pretty good golf right now, but i will probably pass on your him dad. Will be your dad will be rooting for Jordan. <laughs> yeah. Man, he I, loves Spieth. out of the top guys. I'd say uh, Morikawa. I think DJ's starting to come around a little bit and play well. I I have a hunch Daniel Berger's going to play. I, really I like good him a little week. bit too. Uh, he's coming off a back injury, which worries me a little bit, but I like him um, a good bit. And then uh, there's a couple of Price guys that I really liked. I thought Jason Day was worth a look, but he's another guy you got to worry about injury. And uh, I thought Tommy Fleetwood at 110 to one is an absurd price. This guy's one of the, was one of the top ten players in the world a couple you just of years never ago. Know what he's and his do, form right? is starting to come back, and I, I I think he could be. I think he'd be worth a top twenty or top ten bet for sure. And then uh, Robert McIntyre, another uh, I think he's a Scotsman. you gave me McIntyre a couple uh, weeks ago. He's a good player, and he's going to win over here at some point. I I would watch out for him. He's a giant number as well. So I like those two guys. Is Shambo playing? He's questionable. I, I haven't I seen that he's in for sure. He's still struggling. Dad, with you got any steam on your boy Finau? I, I'm off Fino. I'm You're off. off I'm off his man hey, wagon. Hey, he can't win. He Listen, can never Finau, win. Listen, Fino let me down too many weeks in a row He's in matchups. Great, great top five, great top ten yeah, guy, but he, he can't, can't ever close the deal. No, he can't. Uh, you were all over him. Like I, I like him. He was ago. hot, man. He was playing well like a year ago, and he is just he he he's killed me. And, more money than what do you, than, what do you think <laughs> about Shane Lowry? He's pretty solid at these majors. He's been too. he's been pretty consistent. Yeah, uh, I'd consider uh, him a little bit. Yeah, Francesco Molinari is another guy that used to be a top ten player and is starting to come back to form. Uh, Matt Kuchar as well. I think. And Xander Shoffley just played yeah. last well last week, so he may he may be in the mix. But yeah, should, should be, be fun. fun. Should be a should be a great week with the Preakness, the golf. Uh, the NBA, NHL, good good weekend of sports. Yeah, man, we hit a lot of sports. Let's hope today. let's hope it rains so and we don't have to cut grass. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we rough hit and a rowdy. lot of sports today. Uh, it's gonna be a good and, weekend. Um, it's gonna be a great weekend. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on this this week in general. We got a lot of stuff. What about going this on. week in history? Yeah, That's what, what I was just about week? to say. Uh, this week in history, and uh, this this week history is sponsored by no one this week. So if you have an, own a business out there and you want to sponsor uh, this week in uh, history, we'll eat your food on uh here we'll 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 promote you so yeah. jump on board yeah uh so i want to start us off here just because i like uh violence and and and, and <laughs> boy you're right up chris's alley and there. devastation yep. uh mount st helens in 1980 on the 18th yeah. of may uh erupts causing the largest landslide in history killing 57 people i didn't read that again and i hit uh i i don't want to make light of 57 people dying but that ex- but, that it's remarkable it's only that many yes that well and well yeah that's true there's a picture if you look up mount st helens explosion there's one picture of it like of when it first explodes and the guy who actually took the picture just got engulfed by the volcano yeah. but i looked Pulled it up, up one for the team that explosion <laughs> covered 229 square miles of of land it was the most destructive and deadliest economical economically destructive volcanic event in the history of the united states wow so there you go at least it wasn't chernobyl washington oh okay huh I didn't know what state. I couldn't remember what state it was in. Wait, I think we we've we, seen Mount we've Saint seen Hel- Mount yeah. St. Helens. Yeah. yeah, we flew over top of it. We have. Yeah, actually, I, you, yeah, I, I looked out the that. window and yeah. I, I, we were we were flying to Seattle and I looked out if, the window and we were parallel with the peak of the mountain. What if you were up in the air when that explosion? I wouldn't be talking about it right now. <laughs> no, but I I love all kinds. Of, not that I that's going to sound horrible. No, I I was going to say I like natural disasters, but I just like I like. Um, uh, what are the, what's that? 
like weather. I, I think I can't phenomenal. be with you right now. No, <laughs> I know, that, and I, that sounds <laughs> terrible, but I just, just I think it is fascinating how like how devastating things can oh, be. For sure. I think that is mother nature. I think mother, yeah, mother nature. nature. She, you can't. She's a mad scientist. Well, it's like uh, her 100. You, you can't beat her and you can't outrun her. No. And mother it's nature. Like I want to give a shout out to my great 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 grandfather sir arthur conan doyle who yes. was born back in edinburgh in 1859 oh, love yeah. you love you pap wow. <laughs> yeah well he he Peep did Paul. some good things jeff yeah. pap I mean, he's an author very hey, proud he was an author great. uh he was actually a doctor he actually um wrote uh all the episodes to sherlock holmes um, <laughs> did you call him art excuse me <laughs> arthur Excuse, oh. me. Excuse me, I apologize. Grandpa Art. Yeah. We're still getting People. royalties Pap, Pap, off Art. of Pat. We're still getting royalties <laughs> off of Pat, so I love you, Pat. <laughs> Pap Art. Uh, n- I'd like to point out in uh, May, May 17th, uh, 1961, <laughs> Fidel Castro offers to exchange Bay of Pigs prisoners for 500 bulldozers. Yes. Why do you want yes. 400 you, bu- what? You, you guys know anything about why no that idea. was? I, I, well, if you're familiar with Bay of Pigs invasion, it was a catastrophic event uh john f kennedy's administration kind of messed up they were trying to overthrow castro and anyway these these cuban nationalists who were trying to overthrow him expected the united states to come to their aid and they were supposed to come by air uh and sea and somehow they say kennedy was out on the golf course and somehow neglected to tell the uh the people that they weren't coming so anyway they were slaughtered and captured by castro and they were imprisoned and then castro kind of almost as like a joke but he he did want these bulldozers and tractors to uh do a bunch of excavating in areas of the country so he did he actually made that offer that they would do that and actually the united states said they wouldn't they would not negotiate with they considered him like a terrorist they won't they wouldn't do that so anyway a bunch of private citizens actually got together and funded to uh, organize the release of those prisoners. Oh, wow. And give him wow. the build, the bulldozers and the tractors. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that's nice. kind of cool. I didn't know that backstory to that. That's kind of cool, dude. The Pioneer Matt, you podcast. got knowledge that I do. You <laughs> learn stuff every week. You learn stuff every week. Someone can learn got. something. That's you know, I read, I read something that Batista, who was before right. Castro, Castro, took over and killed I, yeah, I, feel, I, I heard something well, that right. was, I was Batista <laughs> worse than Castro? I, I mean, people argue that that point. 1A, 1B. One yeah, it, sounds, yeah. it sounded like, yeah. He was a hell of a wrestler, Chris. What, what yes. was it? Jerry, Great what, actor, too. Oh, that was exchange. Did you guys hear uh, off the subject a little bit, well, I'm talking exchange of prisoners, about what Russia wants for Brittany Griner, the exchange? Have you guys heard that? No, I have not. Have you was guys it a uh-uh. marijuana cartridge? No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, Did you vape, hear it, Chris? Vape cartridge. They, no. they, what they want? I heard this today, and I just looked it up. Now, Brittany Griner, what she's over there held for va- marijuana cartridge. Yep. Yeah. They, the Russia wants in exchange for Brittany Griner, the Merchant of Death. Yeah. Exchange. Did you hear that? Matt? I did. I did. Who? What what the the what's that? that? The yeah, Merchant that? of Death. It's a. It's a. Um, uh, for her safety, multiple. Uh, Russia is looking to change the W is star in a prisoner swap for no, yeah. notorious convicted Batista. arms trafficker Victor yeah. Bout. He's a, he's a several state terrible of, guy. Yeah, terrible guy. Ter- and they terrorist want, and arms dealer. They want him yeah. back. Yeah, they want him for well, Brittany Griner. And Biden's a, considering it. That's the sad <laughs> part. It's amazing. Yeah. They, they, no, Brittany Griner's on her own. The she's, Merchant of Death. Yeah, for yeah, Brittany right, Griner. It's a great yeah. nickname. Yeah, and he's not fighting at the tough man call, or the uh, <laughs> the uh, rough, rough and rowdy. <laughs> He's not down there. That's he's, he's not, a real he's not, guy. He's not fighting no. Smidge, the yeah. doorman. <laughs> no, no, he's a real legit killer. Like, yeah, but I just thought that exchange. That, that's was, insane. That wow. is, How about the um the um? I, I guess a personal question: If you were in a plane crash, would you go back a second time? What's that? Hell yeah. Okay. Well, here's the reason why: because Howard Hughes yeah. crashes oh, yeah. in Lake Mead while yeah. test flying. That was his third out of four. Uh, Rex yeah. on a plane. Oh, wait, so you're saying if, if, if you yeah. crash on a plane, would you ever take a plane flight? Again? Yeah, would you go back on a plane? I know. I mean, if I, if I, if I survived, that... I'm probably not getting back on it <laughs> again. The guy that was with him didn't. He, he didn't. Be yeah, but then your odds of doing it again are probably. Well, I mean, if you're in a car wreck, I think he killed a guy on the, on the ground. True, yeah. that's a there's, good point. I mean, there's a guy that I. Then this is a tangent, and I'll try to make it quick. There's a guy. He's called the unluckiest lucky man in the world. He was in a plane. He fell out of a plane. He fe- what? Excuse he, me. Wait, wait a, a like second. A door? Just wait a second. He got, I got the wrong door. door. My bad. So I can't. I, I'm, I'm not sure about how it happened, but he ended up falling out of a plane. I think he was in a plane and it was going. Trap door. Fuck the door. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> 
I think he was in a plane. <laughs> he was in a plane. Now, hold on. He was in like a Cessna, like a little, oh, okay. like a. So it like, wasn't like it TWA. Wasn't a jumbo, oh. yeah. It wasn't a jumbo jet. And he was in this Cessna. And I think it went down and he fell out of the plane. And he. Went fell. all the way he down. Fell he fell or he jumped. He fell. He fell. Or was thrown. He out fell of the out of the plane. He 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 was like I can't remember the no height, seat belt. but it was it was a high enough for him to definitely die when he hit the ground. He landed in a hay bale and survived. He was in two car crashes. He was in a in a bus crash that exploded. He <laughs> fell. He got. Where it was a bus he explode. He's got to be a stunt man yeah. for no. Somebody. Listen, he was in a in a car crash and he almost drowned because the car went off a bridge <laughs> into water and then. He won the lottery. He's the unluckiest luck. I think, no, he got struck by lightning twice. Yeah, I, think, I think you're so right. So, Jeff, he's never going to go out on a plane, time. never get in a car, never get Never out, goes go outside out when it's raining. But he won the goddamn Powerball. Poor, power poor ball. fucker's right. in the bubble. He's been rewarded. <laughs> look, yeah, Literally. I'll have to, citation needed, but look him up. The unluckiest lucky man in the no. world. What, what about what about these other two aviators? There's Lindbergh <laughs> again down there for you guys. Oh, boy. Yeah, he took on the first solo transatlantic flight, New York to Paris. And then Amelia Earhart was this week as well. Hey, Jeff, you talk talking about like with Howard Hughes and being, but seriously, you know, because I've read this before. What what if you were like on a on a jumbo <laughs> jet and and it did crash and you were the only survivor? Oh wow, <laughs> where is it crashing? That, well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, but you like because you know people have uh, they'd have all kind of you know. Why I don't think I'd want. Or, why'd you ask that? Well, if it well, crashes, because because Howard Hughes like it no, wrecked three times. No, I'm saying why do you ask where it crashes? Well, well what the oh, hell's oh, the difference? Well, yeah. What do you mean? Where's the difference? I would rather crash <laughs> in Martin Park or, than yeah. I would in the Alps. Well, I mean, well, if the, you survive, but, but well, the, on the Hudson is, River. But the point is, the guy sur- or the person survived. <laughs> oh, like, well, I thought you were going to ask if it crashes on a border of. The oh, United yeah. States and Canada, where they bury the survivors. <laughs> yeah. I mean, would you rather hit a mountain or His go head to rolled into Canada? Oh, yeah. Well, am I dying in both of them? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'd hit a mountain. Me too. Mountain hit a mountain. As opposed to what? <laughs> to answer your question, Water? no. Water. Oh. No. I, think I, 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 would, I wouldn't want to be the only survivor. That's what I mean. No, what? I would not. Why not? There's but a good chance because, because I mean, as long it. as none of your family was on there. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, what if you're on? I'm trying to make you feel as bad as possible. So your family's on there. Oh, your family. Oh, now that's a different story. No, the whole fa- the, the entire oh, family. the no. whole fam like our whole like if a family reunion no, was going no, to like no, no, Fiji. No, no, no. no, no I tell no, you no. what, that plane trip that it started off would have been fucking fun to <laughs> like that. <laughs> hey, at least as long as it doesn't explode on takeoff. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give us a little bit of cruising altitude, right? the party up there, huh? Yeah, but no, I, yeah, I, I'll I'll just take the instant death. Yeah, I yeah. don't, I don't want. Yeah. I don't or the pilot just announces halfway through, say, guys, I'm locked in here. We're I, fucked. I, 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 I have no. I, I have no plan in landing this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, he has we, no plan in landing it to no, save he lost hey, his mind. Hey, <laughs> hey, like, hey, Dad. And the waitress takes him up a bottle of vodka. <laughs> Dad, he says, yeah. we too low. <laughs> <laughs> <Bang> ding <laughs> Allen. That's a, if you, oh, that's oh, another guy. Lord. If you haven't looked that up, that, look up uh, Chinese plane crash that's uh, read on the news. It's one of the funniest things this, ever. This newscast team on the teleprompter, there was some crash, plane crash, and they literally read... The names of these pilots on the on the news. They read the names of these pilots, and uh, yeah. But uh, I ended up the whole the whole news team got fired. They I guess have. it was a disgruntled. It was like yeah, a but, disgruntled uh, yeah, employee. Why Why would the lady that's reading it? I mean, it was still the na- like she probably just she thought probably, it was a name. Yeah. Why would she get fired? Mark, I mean, come on. What were the names? We Some, what were the, the names? Oh, here, I'll, I'll Wong. play it. Now that we can have audio. Some sing here. Wong. Oh. Some sing very Wong. Some right. sing Wong. Dead Bang. when the truck hit her. We have new information now. Also on the plane crash, KTVU has just learned the names of the four pilots this who were on so board fun. the flight. They are Captain Sum Ting Wong, We Too Low, Ho Lee Fook, and Bang Ding Ao. <laughs> The NTSB has confirmed these are the names yeah, Chris, of the she's got to get <laughs> Bang ding out. Oh, I mean, the- <laughs> serious is a heart attack. Hey, I'd, I'd like to know where that where that anchor uh, went to college. Uh, I'd uh, like to but, write them a letter. You know, I, I've read things though that those those people that ra- read those teleprompters, they're so locked into the job they don't. It doesn't. Oh, I it guarantee doesn't, you, no way. Matt, probably not Sarah. Wait, you're saying there's no way? <laughs> you're saying there's, there's no-, no way she she realized she was very serious. You could tell That's, she was. Oh, no, yeah, no. Then she better get another career. That is well, a she high, had to now. <laughs> she had I mean, to. What? I, I which I one? Which one's the most obvious? Oh, I mean, which oh, one's well, the most obvious? The first one isn't. If she's what? what we, it, something, something wrong. wrong. <laughs> 
And yeah, then, but so no, 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 bang, no. bang, ding, out. No, 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 no. We, we too, too low. We too low. We too low. And then, but, like, after, <laughs> what, what, what was the second one? We too low. We too low. Something then wrong. Then af- after that, when she's got to say, "Hey, I, I, I think we're being had here," and she just reads, "No, <laughs> yeah. fire." Her. The whole, the whole, the I whole agree, newscast Chris. got the good, whole good. crew they, got they fired. Should. They should. That's that's <laughs> that's a, that's hey, really I, good. I kind of got a hot pit. All right, yeah, we'll swap to that. We'll wrap it up. Goes with news. I tell you what. <laughs> celebrity news is the most pathetic thing in the world and people that actually care about it might be even worse wow. I, w- I was scrolling through twitter and listen to some of these headlines that i have here written down uh dua lipa does a handstand in jeans and heels of all things that was a headline wow. uh, here's another one Astounding. <laughs> watch shakira nail down viral dance moves and six-inch stiletto platform i boots. might watch that one here, here's, a, here's another one too you guys this, this is a good one Martha Stewart says Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson are very fun together, but has no idea if they'll last. Who fucking gives a fuck what Martha Stewart says? Exactly, Jared. She's a criminal. Insider trading. I think think, uh, celebrity news, if you care, and like there's probably people that genuinely care, like, hey, honey, Martha Stewart Stewart cares what Pete Davidson says. Jared, there is. Let's tell Elizabeth and Dan. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> the neighbors. Yeah, the neighbors. Yeah. Hey, tell us something about Megan Fox, Jeff. Well, that's kind of funny because I'm going to go cool mug the opposite way. So we'll just do a little pissing match right now. So um, happy belated birthday to Megan Fox. Um, but she was actually in the news this week. Did you this, send her a card? I did, actually. Was, I actually, I, I, I DM'd her. Signed, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whatever, Signed by the Doyles she's or actually, just you? Whatever that means. Or the returning Doyles. Yeah. Signed by the Doyles or just Jeff? Uh, just Luke, so it didn't look like <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to be married. I picture uh, you and your thong. <laughs> hey, well, I'm it's cutting grass. <laughs> I've got a hot so, pit on that one. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, real quick. So, uh, belated birthday, but this week she was in the news because, uh, on Superstar News, because she was... First and foremost, one out of ten. Ten. Do you guys all agree? No, I think she sure. used to be a ten. She's probably a seven now. Okay, I respect yeah. that. She's married what? now. So now she's engaged. Oh, engaged. She's engaged. Her and, her and Sorry. Transformers. Sorry. Trend. Didn't, you want a fax? Yeah. Yeah. Don't. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> see careful. that on Jared's headlines. <laughs> there. Uh, damn. Megan Fox goes from a ten to a seven. Yes. Yes. Because of her. her and tra- yeah. No. Her and trans. <laughs> her. Her and Transformers nah. two compared to now. Uh, you know what? I would agree with that. I would agree with that. That's fair. She went downward. So anywhere. Where are we? So the moral of the story is: you remember your guy back in the day when you were a kid you had the uh the onesie yeah, yeah. all right kind of like your guys's teletubby outfits yeah yeah all right so the fact around you know normal ones you underneath the crotch you could be able to open a this poop flap but yeah well here's the deal she <laughs> created board. one she specifically created one for easy access for her and machine gun kelly to have sex on the way to the <laughs> billboard uh thing. so <laughs> that's fun so there you go that's resourceful great. woman that's that's fun. Fun. so we're gonna we're gonna piggyback even though you were that was your hot pit wow. i'm gonna go with my cool mug on that and real quick one more shout out to luke doyle for his first night uh umpiring a game yeah. his, first, yeah. his first real job tonight ladies let's and let's, yeah. let's hope he didn't get into it with any stupid fans <laughs> right yeah. or, or, threw or he out. threw him out yeah i know he can't he, he can't though can't can he, oh, he can't no that was actually the cool part real quick a, a, another cool mug to the people that run that. They said flat out to the young guys. They have a lot of younger guys trying to step up a little bit, and they flat out told all the young guys, "If anybody gives you shit, you make sure you call us on the spot because we will handle it." Yeah, for yeah. yeah. which yeah. I thought good. was really good. good. Send them to H.H. H. Holmes' house. I'm going to give a uh, cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give a, a cold mug here. I know this is more celebrity news, and I know you guys now probably don't. Johnny you know, Depp, the update. Going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. My update. Uh, uh, Amber Heard got cross-examined in today by uh, Johnny Depp's team. She did last or er, on Monday. Uh, I heard she was a mess. Uh, she was. It was. It, she got uh, torn apart pretty bad. Now, here's the thing: if she's telling the truth, if she's telling the truth, and it actually did happen to it, I I feel horrible. I don't think she is, but uh, my cold mug is to Camille Vasquez, who is uh, uh, Johnny Depp's one of Johnny Depp's attorney. Uh, now she's 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 a seven, and she uh, and she's she's unbelievable. She's an unbelievable attorney. Very sharp. Yeah, very sharp. Cold mug, go to Camille. When Vasquez. do they expect this to end? Like 2025? Not no, soon enough. Next week. Not soon enough. Uh, next week? Next week. Oh, Jump's uh, hopeful uh, for a mistrial. Uh, now, are you gonna again. are you gonna be on pins and needles with the verdict? Yeah. Oh, what are you hoping for? I'm I'm not hoping. For, I'm not really hoping for anything. But I hope that if if they do prove that she's, I'm not even going to get into it because I know you're now, just going to shit if on me. If it goes me the for, wrong way, will we? Will you, will you no, be back on the podcast. No, like, are you, you going to need some grieving? No, time no, 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 no. Because okay. I mean, I, 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 I. 
That's I just have been more entertained by the inner workings of the whole show. Jeff, thing. did I you could... see him out in front uh, of the house yesterday with Free Johnny? The sign. He's not been arrested. Oh, he's not. <laughs> no. But if he loses, oh, I thought he was in an orange suit. If he suit. loses, I think Jub's going to take a ride in a white Bronco. <laughs> <for a while>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jub. I can't imagine what you'd have been like with the OJ Jeez, thing. Oh, Pete. Hey, did you see the video of her? Like, I love you, Jub. Uh, yeah, Chris, did you see that? That's crazy. That. Yeah, they say that. she was doing key bumps in the courtroom. Yeah. 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 Is she that. still wearing the same shit Johnny wears? Yeah, you keep... don't care. So yeah, oh, I don't care, but I did. I found that a little bit funny. He'd wear green, she'd wear green. He'd wear blue, she, she'd wear blue. Yeah, both she freaks. came in with like Just a. Both yeah, yeah, they both got yeah. issues. I mean, how much? Job, was it true that she actually did a? She bumped a line of cocaine. Nah, I don't know if that's true, but they, they that's that's what people. You got one, Matt? It was a crushed up subutex. Yeah, or something. <laughs> you, <laughs> you got one? Uh, I do not. No, I. I got not really. Yeah, I got. I got. I got a real quick one. I got a real. Yeah, this is real quick, and I'm just gonna. <laughs> I was driving down a road the other day, and I saw a dude, like an older guy, like my age maybe, cutting grass, didn't have a shirt on. <laughs> Men should not be out cutting grass or doing yard work with a sh- without a shirt on. Did he have 100%. a gremlin coming out of his belly button? <laughs> he, <laughs> no, he did not. But uh, Well, I actually couldn't see his belly button, but he had man, t- man boobs. <laughs> Disturbing. All right, man tits. <laughs> Disturbing. Shit hanging all over his belly. <laughs> All over his suit. Uh, now, why you know, do you think that's now, 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 really if he why wants you... to get If he wants to get sun, lay out in your backyard or uh, no in a chair. Mm-hmm. Don't be uh, walking with your lawnmower where, where we got to watch. Well, what your if he wants pit. to show off? <laughs> what show off what? Well, you you saw him. Maybe somebody saw him and went. Oh, I well, like well, that. Well, that. So, you, so is there? Do you think there's an age limit or a weight limit? That no, I don't think. Probably age uh, uh, Yeah. So like well, I said, would it be depends. okay if I did it? Yes. Yeah. 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 You guys. Okay. Yeah. Up yeah, to, yeah, up to I, in the twenties, maybe we yeah, still I'm, look. But, but at the end of the day, what's the point? Exactly. Uh, right. Of wearing, not wearing shirt. Not shirt. Wearing, what's some, the point? Yeah. Uh, are before. you that hot? Cut. Wear a tank top yes. or a short sleeve You'll shirt with a, with a with with the sleeves. You know cut what off. it is? He didn't want tan lines. That's what he, he didn't want tan lines. He, he I'm, well. I'm going to start wearing no shirt out <laughs> there. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. yeah, but you'll have got, there'll be too. people wreck, yeah. puke, yeah. vomit Just, in their car. <laughs> hey, can yeah. you do it with Lynn in the dark? Yeah. Yeah. Barefoot in the dark. Yeah. So anyway, well, put on a shirt, you I, idiots. I, I into that. this very same thing because uh, this past weekend it was beautiful, and I walked uh, both uh, Saturday and Sunday, and I can't tell you how many guys went by on bikes without shirts. That's unbelievable. Unfortunately, they were they were going the same direction. Yeah. So I didn't now, and now, how hot was it out there, Chris? Not this that. is Wheeling. I mean, was, they don't live in Tahiti. Was, and I mean, you guys agree with that, yeah, guys? Yes. Yeah. 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 I, mean, yeah, I agree with though. If you're younger and you look good, yeah, but some. That bad. bad, yeah. That's yeah. Bad. yeah if I ever look over, yeah, and you, I can I know, promise you, you're I'm, not going to see calling, my big ass I'm over there. I'm shirtless. calling the law. Uh, you should. <laughs> hey, you I'm, should. Jeff, I'm trying to show off for some of our uh, neighbors we got up here. You know? I, I get it. Hey, <laughs> I am our, our elderly neighbors. All right, Chris, yeah. it, we'll wrap it up oh, for no, us. This isn't really even a uh, a hot pit. I'm just really surprised here that this week in history. Uh, May twenty first, nineteen eighty, Star Wars, and none of these guys. Yeah, well, Jared I know. and I were going to, but you guys love you know, Star Wars. We just, do. That was, was a shocked. monumental time yeah, in all our you, lives. You none of us were alive. I never watched Yesterday, uh, do you see the Vanity Fair cover? No. Yes, I did see that. that we got Obi Wan coming out. Is that supposed to be good? Yeah, yeah, yeah and I Matt, I know. Matt, he's very excited about that. Yeah, Star Wars guy. No, sir. Yesterday, no, sir. yesterday no, sir. twenty years ago, was Attack of the Clones. Isn't that amazing? I think crazy. A lot of hate for that movie. It's not as bad as the people. I love that. Memorial you watch it. Memorial watch. You like any series, Jeff? You like mean, or trilogy, or, just, or, or, or it's uh, franchise. That's what I should say. Um, no, to be honest, I like I can't get in. Like no Lord of the Rings, no Harry mm, Potter. Can't do any of that nah, stuff me either. You know, my biggest problem is but you're I, Rambo. I'm jealous <laughs> though. Rambo one, two, and three. Well, what, Rocky. What was it? What was it? I said, are you into so, any series? But, or not I mean, series? Jeff, uh, like, trilogies or Jeff? You got to real. Uh, you're putting Rambo up there with Lord of the Rings, Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, that was and, way. That caught I mean, me like way off. What's guard. what's what? But well, I said it, it's it a trilogy, on, it, but it wasn't, no, I said franchise. It wasn't like a fantasy movie, but it was. Rambo's, he's saying like a franchise yeah, a trilogy. A, a so. Rand, but I get franchise. where you're saying, Jared. <laughs> but here's what I will say: it doesn't fit with those three. I'm truly <laughs> envious though, because I just I, I'll be the first one, man. I don't have a creative mind, so I can't let my mind go Ooh. places like that. So people that are creative that are they're able to let their minds go, I'm actually envious of that. Because I just can't do it because I'm more r- real life. Yeah, I, guess, I like to life. escape I real life. That's yeah, why yeah, I like that. That is so spot on. I, hate, I feel the same way. I, if, like, don't you guys to, like to escape 
Real life? Because that's I wish why I, could. I watch that stuff. I wish I could. Like, man, I make honestly. a point to do it. Yeah, I know Jared and I wish I could. Like, do you like... No, it's what? not. No, I'm telling you right... Okay, here's one that I that I had as a hot pit, potentially. Do you guys believe in UFOs and extraterrestrials? Absolutely. No. Why not? No. I don't see how we could be so arrogant to no. think there's not other life forms out here. Well, I agree. You spring that up. I was going to say something, too, but it's for... Like the, the fucking Congress today was yeah, having a gun. They're releasing the they, UFOs. They, but they were talking about all the different fucking Well, they said national the security. I love and, it. And, and, oh, I know. And they're having a hearing now, if the on aliens, UFOs. No, Chris, I Gas agree with you there. Gas is 450 yeah. a gallon. Chris, no, no, Chris, we're releasing I agree. a fucking what? UFO. What? That's great. <laughs> well, Maybe that's... we can get their gas out of their fucking UFO. <laughs> we can use yeah. it. <laughs> right next to uh, global warming, I say UFOs are about not yeah, that important really yeah. right now. I agree. But they are out there. You genuinely don't think there's anything else out there. No, you watch those stupid ghost stories on TV. I don't. Now I don't believe in ghosts, but I. I th- there are. One, we're one galaxy, and one galaxy. Oh, oh, we're one solar galaxy. system in our galaxy with multiple different solar systems in our galaxy. There's one hundred. There's one hundred billion galaxies out there in the universe, and you think we're the only ones here? You think they have long necks and. No, hey, hey let me ask go. you this. Do you guys think Champ is from this planet? <laughs> <laughs> that proves it right there. Right. And with that, let's, yes, uh, let's, right put a, let's put a pin in the episode. Thank you for joining here. Uh, thank you for Jerry Thomas for uh, for coming around yes. and, and talking to us for a while. It's been awesome. Now we're going to be down there on Thursday for the uh, for the weigh-in. So that'll be cool. You might see some stuff for that, hopefully before Friday, the actual event. Uh, but Friday, of course, look forward to uh, marking your calendars. I think a lot of people are coming. And if you're coming, uh, you know, you know, it's going to be fun. You're going to get giveaways. We got a lot of crowd stuff we're going to implement. We got some chugging. We got some uh, <laughs> trivia, all kinds of stuff. So come, come down on the 20th. That's River City from five to seven thirty, and uh, we're going to have a blast. And then we have one more thing, maybe tomorrow that we might be doing. So you might see that we talked about it a little bit today, but I won't spoil it just in case we happen to do it. Uh, keep updated on social media. That's at the Pine Room Podcast on t- uh, on on Instagram and Facebook at Pine Room Podcast on Twitter. You can follow us on YouTube uh, at the Pine Room Podcast. That's where you'll see this. That's where you'll see uh, you know all ki- all the kinds of the videos that we do. But keep updated or uh, you know keep keep fresh with all the stuff we're doing. And if you want to be uh, you know updated on bets, put your notifications on for your social media. I know we're not going to bother you with a bunch of you know random stuff. And so these picks are free. They, they are free. You. Yeah, if maybe they won't eventually, but you know, for now, we win we're free. a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, and and we'll you know we'll, you'll keep you will get to keep track of who wins what and whatever. But yeah, keep updated. Follow us. Mark your calendars for Friday. It's going to be a blast. We'll be down there early, so come down early, have a drink, and uh, we will see you here. Well, no, we'll see you on Friday at River City. So, uh, yeah, see you later. On later, later dudes. Dudes. Peace. See ya. Well, it's that time. The coolers are empty, the food's all gone, and the games are over. But that's all right. There's always next week. Follow us on social media to keep up to date with future shows and send any questions, comments, or topics you'd like us to discuss to contact at thepineroompodcast.com. Till then, we'll see you here next time in the Pine Room.